Yeah, it's light now. now.
Side. And with that shot inside is Miranda Vines. She's a 5'10 senior and make it 7-4 to four now. Little one up by three. Rulard calls a play up on top. Goes to Shawnee White at the elbow on the right side. She'll bring it out behind the arc. Gets it down. Nice pass into Shangri. Short. Shangri will come away with her own rebound. And they're going to call charging. So Shangri will get her own rebound. And then she gets whistled. She actually got tied, you know, they reached in and tied the ball up and to, re to jerk it away, they say she traveled when she did that. Full court pressure by the Lady Mustangs. We're about halfway through the first quarter. Little one up 7-4. Up the charger, down, turn around, jumper won't go. Tipped and saved and I, um, Bear Killer will come away with the ball. Quickly down to Shawnee White, puts it up, no good. Zoe Longshoulder with another offensive rebound. Outside shot. That's Rulard for three. Rulard hits the three and make it 10 to four now. Little one up, 340 to go here in the first quarter. Outside shot won't go. And they're gonna call Shangru with kind of an over the back. Down low, that was uh, J. Ellen Red Fox. She had the rebound, and Shangri whistled for going over the back. First foul on Shangri, second team foul on the Lady Mustangs. Outside shot, a three, a little bit long. It hits the top. They're going to say it's be Eagle Butte ball. Ten, or excuse me, little one ball. Into the ball game is um, Chante Bull Bear is in the game. Roulard will bring it up. Looking to get a screen, Zoe Longshoulder with that. Get on the wing to Bull Bear, back in the corner. They're gonna call an offensive foul on Rulard. Make that not Rulard. It looks like it's on Melina Shangri. I thought it was on Rulard. They're gonna say it's Melina Shangri, and that'll be the second foul in here in the first quarter against Shangri, Sadie in the woods. Standing, I'm not sure if she's ready to replace Shangri right away. Nice steal. Chante Bull Bear has it stolen, and Linda Charter is going to steal it right back as the teams exchange a turnover. They get the ball down inside to JL and Red Fox, and she'll get the basket up for two and make it 10 to 6. 10 6. Little one in the lead, they go in the lane, driving, partially blocked, and underneath, that's Charger with the rebound. Linda Charger came down with the rebound. 
And there's a foul on the rebound. Two forty-five to go. The foul's going to go against Ileana Pilsenpipe. Pick up her first foul. Baseline, a little bit, little kind of mini pup shot, and that's by um, Shawnee Lawrence. Will get the two. Make it ten to eight now. Ten to eight as little one turns the ball over. Driving the baseline, too long, that's not gonna go. Chante Bullbear will grab the rebound for the Lady Mustang, and then stolen and put up. That's um, Daisy Lenz's horse with the steal and the two, as Little One turns the ball over again, and we are tied now at 10. Baseline jumper won't go. Rebound comes down to, on the, uh, Trying to look to see who got the rebound. It's knocked out of bounds. Shawnee White's gonna pick up her first foul. Inbounds, they try to go underneath and it goes off of Eagle Butte and out of bounds. And then they got knocked in and then it goes off of Bull Bear and out of bounds. So the ball will stay with Shawnee Eagle Butte. We're tied at 10, 1.45 to go. Ball gets tipped. Going after the steal of Sophia Hatton, and she gets the job done. Hatton goes to spin in the lane and has it stripped. Driving, that's Lenz's horse with the steal and the two, her second basket, as both teams with a turnover on that one. And make it 12 to 10, coming down with the rebound. Uh, Eagle Butte with their first lead of the ball game. Daisy in the uh, Lenz's horse, gets the ball down low to um, JL on Red Fox, and Red Fox will get the two and make it 15 to 10 now. 15 to 10, Roulard down inside and hammered from behind, JL on Red Fox. So JL, JL on Red Fox will pick up her first foul. And at the line, will be Ileana Phil's pipe to shoot two. First foul against Jay Ellen. It's like she misses the first free throw. Daisy lends his horse with another rebound. Still 15 to 10, there's a steal. Chante Bullbear will get her second steal of the night. Gets the ball, gets tipped. Outside shot won't go. Underneath, Red Fox will grab the rebound for Shiny Gabute. They're up 15 to 10 now. Down at the other end, there's a steal. Zoe Long Soldier will get the steal. Drives, puts it up, no good. Rebound to Zoe, she'll get her own rebound. Quickly down on the break, too strong, it won't go. That's Lenz's horse for the offensive rebound and the putback. She's got six points here in the first quarter and now make it 17 to 10. Shiny Eagle Butte up with 10 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Turnover against Eagle Butte, it'll be, I guess Lady Mustangs, my bad and it is Eagle Butte ball. Inbounds, it gets the ball to Sunny Dupree. Dupree will bring it up herself, drives to the elbow, hands it down low. LaDonna chasing off, can't get the shot to go. And underneath with the rebound, that's the buzzer. The rebound came down to Ileana Phil's pipe. That's the buzzer, we've completed one. And even though Little One had the early lead and they were up 10 to four, um, Eagle Butte came away. They were little one up 10 to four, and on a 13-0 run, Eagle Butte has gone up 17 to 10. So they've had they've 
13 unanswered points to take the lead. 17 to 10 over the home team, the Little Wound Lady Mustangs. Little Wound has struggled to take care of the ball. They end up with eight turnovers here in the first quarter. Zoe Long Soldier, Melina Shangru, Sophia Hatton, Talea Bear Killer, and Shawnee White on the floor to start the second quarter for Little Wound. We have Sonny Dupree, Red Fox, Marky Shaving, LaDonna Chasing Hawk. She's a 5'9 junior. In the lane, struggling. Pat Hatton gets it out to Shawnee White. White kicks it outside. Zoe Long Soldier for three. Can't get that to work. And Chasing Off will come down with a rebound for Eagle Butte. Quickly down the other end of the floor. Won't go. Red Fox with the rebound. Looks like Lentis Horse will come away with it. And Little One back with the ball. 17 10 still. We're about 40 seconds into the second quarter. Nobody scored yet. They go deep. Oh, nice pass into Shangri. Could not get it to go, though. Going to be tipped out. And Lenz's horse with another rebound. Quickly down the floor. Almost tipped away. Ball down on the floor. Chasing Hawk. And Zoe Longsoldier will tie it up. And the arrow will go to Eagle Butte. Good hustle by Longsoldier. 17 to stand still after one minute here in the second quarter. The ball gets tipped. Bear killer and Shawnee White will come away with it. She gets the steal as Eagle Butte turns it over. In the lane and getting a steal right back is Marky Shaving. She gets the steal back. On the, puts her runner up off the glass. Won't go. Chasing off. Nope, that was Sonny Dupree with a rebound. Bear killer. And then Zoe Longshoulder quickly up to Molina. Shangri leans in. Long Soldier will get the rebound, the assist, and Melina Shanger will get the two. And now make it 17 to 12. Eagle Butte by five. Marky Shaving baseline, 10 footer in and out, won't go. Shanger will come down with the rebound for Little One. Zoe will bring it up on the wing on the right. Kicks it back to Shanger to, to lay a bear killer, streaking towards the basket. Count the basket. She just muscled that shot up. And over Marky Shaving, the basket will be good for Talea Bear Killer. So Bear Killer will get the two and one, but she just muscled that shot up. Looks like LaDonna chasing a three point opportunity for Bear Killer. She stands in at the line. It's 17 14 now. And Bear Killer hits the free throw. She completes the three-point play. Chasing Hawk takes the ball out. They get the ball in. Sonny Dupree, I mean Linda Charger, down on the baseline. They kick it back outside to Charger. Charger working on Shawnee White. Works it on the wing. Goes to Daisy Lenz's horse. Working on Sophia Hatton. Blocked by Shawnee White. But Shawnee White got the block. Lacey, Daisy Lenz's horse comes away with it. Now they're going to call a foul. Looks like it's, uh, it's on Sophia Hatton. Hatton will pick up her first hot foul. 16 fouls on Little One. Two on... They work it on the wing. Charger goes on top to Lenz's horse. They're going to call her for traveling. So, Shining Gabit will turn it over. Seventeen fifteen, five thirty-nine to go here in the second quarter. Eagle Butte up after a 13-0 run. Little ones come back, score five straight. That won't go. Melina Shangri with a. Offensive rebound, Shangri, and as she turns to shoot it, 
She'll be fouled and she'll go to the line to shoot two. She can continue this run. It's either on, foul's gonna go against uh, Shawnee Lawrence. That'll be her first foul. Good evening. Good evening, Tom. I thought you said they were going to wait for me. You have an awful high opinion of yourself, dude. Well, that's just what you said. You told her you were going to have them wait until I got here. I would not ever even ask them to wait for anybody. <sighs> Shangri at the line, misses the first and the second. Linda Charger Stay here. had it, and then it got knocked out of her hands and off of her and out of bounds. Eagle Butte will turn the ball over. Little one will get it back. 17-15. Out to Sophia Hatton. Hatton pulls the trigger on the three. It is going to be a three. I didn't know if she dragged her foot over the line. They say she didn't. And now it's 18-17. Little one back into the lead. Lenta's horse got, has the ball stripped and out of bounds. Little one was up 10-4. Eagle Butte went on a 13-0 lead and took a 17-10 lead. And now... Uh, that's the way it was at the end of the uh, start of the second quarter. And now Little One's gone on an 8-0 run, and they're up 18-17. Dupree drives, puts it up left-handed, no good. Zoe Long Soldier will come down with the rebound for the Lady Mustangs. She'll bring it up. Hands the ball off to Sophia Hatton right up on top. Five-minute mark here the second quarter. Pull up in the lane, about a 13-footer, won't go. And the rebound comes down to Sonny Dupree. Gives it off, won't go on the shot. It's going to go off. I think it went off of either Talea or uh, Vines. No, I mean, it's it's Eagle Butte ball, so it went off yeah. a little one. Wow. Inbounds underneath, too far underneath, underneath the bottom of the basket. And Zoe Longsoldier will grab the rebound, and she's going to be fouled. Six rebounds here in the first half by Longsoldier. She's fouled. Again, by Eagle Butte, and it'll be Lady Mustang ball. The foul against Sunny Dupree will be her first foul. Sophia Hatton will bring it up. She walks the ball up, taking her time. Shangru back outside to Hatton. Kicks it in the corner. Shawnee White for three, won't go. Underneath is Zoe Longsoldier with another offensive rebound. Kicking it, wide open look. Shawnee White for three, that won't go again. <laughs> Long Soldier again underneath with Sonny Dupree. It's Long Soldier wow. and Sonny Dupree tying it up. She goes after the ball, doesn't she? She does. Both of them number 23. Yeah. One for Eagle Butte, one for Little One. But she has been tenacious. She's got eight rebounds here in the first quarter. A nice oh. pass into Talea Bearkiller. Zoe Long Soldier with the assist. Mm -hmm. Talea Bearkiller, the two. She's got five now. And now it's a 20 to 17. Stolen by Singer. Molina gets in there for the steal. Quickly down inside to Talea again. Shangri with the assist. Talea Bearkiller the two. Yeah, I was going to say, if you're Eagle Butte, probably want a timeout here. So, timeout on the floor, 4 2 We're about halfway through the second quarter. Little one now is up 22 17. So, we saw Little one up 10 4. Eagle Butte came back with a 13 0 run to go up 17 10 at the end of the first quarter. Little One now has come out to start the second quarter and gone on a 12-0 run. So we've seen Eagle Butte with 13-0 run and now Little One with a 12-0 run. Huh. Well, Zoe Long Soldier, in the time I've been here, she has kind of been a magnet for the ball, whether it be rebounds on offense or defense or getting the ball to uh, her teammates in scoring positions. She, um, she's fun to watch play. We're at the 4.02 mark of the third, uh, second quarter. Dupree takes it out into Linda Charger, taking it down the left side all the way down into the lane. Kind of lo lost the handle. We're gonna have a jump ball. Hmm. The arrow, I believe, will be with Eagle Butte. It will stay there. So what's the rule when they fall down? Is that a travel or no one had possession? Well, if they had the ball fall down, it's traveling. Out on top, they work it to Lenz's horse. 
She tries driving. You got to shut up. Outside shot for three. Knocking that ball down. Is that Charger? Yeah, Lydia. Linda, Linda Charger. Charger. For uh, three. And oh, now wow. Bear killer wide open underneath for two. Pass from um, Sophia Hatton. Hatton with the assist. Driving. And oh. they're going to call a foul. foul. It's not, if it's on, is it Shanger or Long Soldier? If it's Shanger, it's going to be her third foul. Yeah, it must be her. She's coming over. Be a third foul on <coughs> Melina Shangru. With 3.20 to go here. At the line is Dupree. She'll shoot two. Hits the first one. Chante Bullbear checks into this game. Is it Molina who came out? Yeah. Third foul. 24-21 now, little one up by three. And Dupree will connect on both her free throws. So it's a two-point game, 24-22, that we've seen go back and forth with two long runs, one by each team. In the lane, Dupree came away with a steal, but they're gonna be a foul. Maybe Shavings. Yep, Marky Shavings will pick up the foul. Her first, fifth team foul, no, no bonus yet. Little one has six, te 17 fouls. You can beat with five. Uh, Macy Rular checks in for Shawnee White for Little one. Long Soldier will take the ball out. Inbounds, they get the ball out to Bull Bear, trying to dribble her way through. Back to Rular, wide open look from outside, won't go. Tipping the ball to lay a bear killer will come away with it, but Zoe Longstall who tipped it to her. Yep. They work it. Oh, stolen. oh stolen. Red Fox with a steal. Yeah, stepped right in. Long Soldier might have that one. Foul. Be a bonus. Ace team foul. Oh, no. Nope. Macy Rular gets whistled for the foul. That's her first. But ends up being the ace team foul, so it's going to be one and one. At the line is Red Fox to shoot the bonus one and one. J. Ellen Red Fox. She misses the front end of a one and one. Knocked out of bounds. Eagle Butte will keep the ball, Thomas. 5'10 Junior. I had forgot to put down her height. Shavings hit the two on the runner, and she picked that foul by number, or no, by Zoe Long Soldier. Zoe <laughs> will pick up her second foul. Yeah. A little bit too much everywhere, Tom. Shavings misses the free throw to lay up. Bear Killer has her hands on it, but there's a battle coming away with it is Eagle Butte. Linda Charger came away with it. Lends his horse on the wing to Charger. Charger working the baseline, kicks it back. Dupree on top, lends his horse, driving underneath. Shavings. Marky Shavings will get the basket. And Eagle Butte now back in the lead, 26-24 over Little One. Underneath, off the glass to lay a bear killer for two. She started tonight, and she has 11 points in the game. Wow. We're tied at 26 all. Productive. Dupree lends his horse on the left, covered by Sophia Hatton. Hatton stays with her. Little pull up about 13 feet away. Underneath, was that Charger with the rebound? Yeah. They go across. Bull Bear tips the ball to Zoe Long Soldier. Oh, Rulard Quickly up two. to Rulard. Who, Pat, was that Zoe to yeah. Rulard? Yeah. Rulard for two. Zoe gets the assist. And little one back in the lead now, 28-26. Charger out on the wing on the right, up on top, and coming out of there, Sophia Hatton drives in, and it's blocked underneath by, was that Sonny Dupree? Yeah. Dupree. Sophia might have been a little lackadaisical. Yeah. She should have gone to the basket in a hurry. Dupree gets down there and gets the block. Well, and Lenz's horse came over here with the rebound and was fouled by um, 
Chante Skuya Bull Bear. First foul on Bull Bear. Lends his horse. This, now that's the 10th team foul. Automatic two shots, double bonus for Lenz's horse, and she hits the first one. Twenty-eight, twenty-seven. Little one by one. This lead has gone back and forth. Seesaw, Tom. Second one rattles in, not without some drama. Lenz's horse with eight first half points. We are tied at twenty-eight all. An exchange of leads, Tom. They work it on the wing. The bull bear drives in, stops, blocked by Red Fox. Coming away with it is Ladonna Chasing Hawk. Be little and ball. Knocked out of bounds. Eagle Butte loses out of bounds. They turn the ball over. And Zoe Long Soldier into Sophia Hatton. Pull up underneath. Bull bear with the rebound for Little Wound. And they lose the ball out of bounds, so the Lady Mustangs will turn it over. Eagle Butte will have it. One minute exactly to go in the, in the first half. We're tied at 28 all. Charger, right side. Whoop. Offensive. Red Fox, call for the offensive foul. Ends up being a turnover as well. They'll give the ball back to Little One with 51 seconds on the clock. 28-28, Eagle Butte and Little Wound all tied up. You're listening to Keeley FM Radio, coverage of girls, high school ball, and watching on KOLC TV. Hatton, Roulard on top, goes back on the wing. Bull Bear gives it back to Zoe. Sophia Hatton, shot clock at 18. They go inside, the pass is tipped up, Bull Bear comes away with it, hands it off to Roulard. Turn around, jumper up. That was a nice yeah. shot by Zoe Long Soldier. Little yeah. mini hook off the glass for two. Yep. Little Good. one up, 30 to 28. Good ball movement there by Little One. Was that M uh, Macy who passed it to her? Sophia yeah. Hatton with the rebound. Yeah. Stolen by Lenses, or by Charger. Linda Charger will two, get the steal. One. So they get the steal and have the stop but can't do anything with it, can't score. We have completed the first two quarters at the end of the half. It is the Little One Lady Mustangs up over Shiny Goobie, 30 to 28. We've seen this lead go back and forth in the first half. Eagle Butte had a 13-0 run to take a, a lead, 17 to 10. And at the start of the second quarter, the Little One came back with a 12-0 run to take their own lead. And we've gone, seen it going back and forth 30, 28, 28, little one up right now. This is Keeley FM Radio. So you're saying that they're not going to wait for us and start the game until we're both here? Get off your high horse, laddie. Who well, do I you think you are? Are you some no, pompous, uh, arrogant knucklehead no, or what? I mean, I just want no, I mean, don't just be ridiculous. That they don't make me wait. Feel pretty at all, Tom. They don't wait for anybody. Well, you gotta wait for the refs. Yeah, but the, the, the refs are required to be here like early. The, flag song. the refs are required to be here for the warm up. You told period. me it was six thirty. No, I did not. I said six o'clock. You said in fact six. Arlo said six, Rob Mendoza said six, and when I got here I still said six o'clock. I told you to leave by four. And it was way after 4.30 when you left town. Huh? Yeah. Well. Nobody can give you instructions. You are Watogala. You're wild. <laughs> You're a wild horse. You run at your own speed. I don't think that's true, Tom. This looks like a pretty good game, though. Oh, now we can talk about the game. Now <laughs> well, we got through that ridiculous stuff from you. Well, I was just... You come up sometimes with the most ridiculous. This is a two-minute warning, or they should wait for me before I get there to start the no, game. I, I didn't say that. I just asked. I was like, well, "No, they you don't expected wait it." Until we get here to start. You but are. People want to hear this. Are game, you that Tom. arrogant? I'm not arrogant. I'm just asking a question. No, they don't wait for you. Huh. Hey, we but we went to the basketball game. Go back to the game now. Talk about the first half, please. They wait in the NFL for the other game to switch over. Anyway. Millions of dollars are on the line. Well, there you go. We have tens of dollars here. 
it means <laughs> nothing to Little Woman or Eagle Butte. Hmm. The parking lot is really full. Game, game, there. basketball like game. Bingo We're here something. at a basketball game. I know you got here late, but did yeah, you I comment know. on the part that you did see? Well, I thought Little Woman was doing a good job of moving the ball when they were setting up their offense. Um, you know, for the small amount of the game I saw, you know, I thought Zoe Long Soldier <clears throat> did a good job moving without the ball, rebounding. Um, well, uh, well, several of the Little One players, I think, did a good job rebounding and passing the ball. Um, we'll see how Melina Shangru picking up that third foul affects Little One down the road. She won't be able to play as aggressive as she normally does in that post position. Um, so we'll see if Eagle Butte can exploit that when they come back in the second half. I think for Eagle Butte, they're pressuring the ball, trying to create steals and throw Little One off of their um, rhythm. And the cup, they, they did do that a couple of times. You know, Little One came down and um, you said went up 10-4 and then Eagle Butte stormed back on a 13-0 run, went up 17-10. to and then Little Wound came storming back and took the lead and has kept the lead for good, but. No, they haven't. <coughs> it, Eagle it, Butte passed them up again? Yeah, they came up and took the lead. They tied the game at 26 and went up 26-24. Oh, wow. Huh. There you go. Now they're down again. Yes. 30 to 28. I was so trying to get across it that the, after the two runs, the lead has gone back and forth. Back and forth. An exchange of leads? Or does that only work on the turnovers, Tom? Hmm. But um, I think Little Wound has been um, successful posting their players up and kind of getting the ball inside, outside. Um, Hatton has hit a couple of nice shots on the outside. There was that one nice steal she had and went, and I think she just got a little excited there and didn't kind of focus on finishing the shot when she um, got her steal. And I think it was... Um, I think was it Dupree who came down and blocked her, but um, <clears throat> besides that, it's kind of been if the teams are able to kind of get the ball into offense, Little Moon has shown themselves able to score uh, in, off of the post, out on the three, and in transition. For Eagle Butte, I've only kind of seen them kind of attack the basket and get inside and score from the inside, so I don't know. In games before, Lenz's horse and Dupree and Shavings were able to kind of hit from the outside, but from the quarter I got to see, because they don't wait for you to start the game, um, that they have been kind of attacking and scoring from inside. So without Shangru in there, I think Eagle Butte has been more effective at getting to the basket and scoring. So we'll see if they can continue to keep attacking the basket for Eagle Butte. For Little Wound, you know, I think Zoe Longsold is stepping up big time tonight. Um, you know, she's, um, I like watching her kind of energy and her her kind of aggressive play. Sometimes she does get a couple of fouls that she doesn't intend, but, you know, I think that's how she kind of learns and grows from her game. So, um, you know, I, I kind of like watching her play tonight. And I, we've seen her play, uh, she's played like, um, We've seen her play like that before, just kind of get out there and be really aggressive and and kind of go after the ball. Looking at the numbers here in the first half, and so Fia Hatton came in off the bench. And she has three points, two steals and assists, and one rebound. Zoe Long Soldier with five points. She has two steals, three is four assists, and nine rebounds. Melina Shangri with six points. She picked up three fouls, four rebounds, and uh, one assist. Macy Roulard with five points and a rebound. Shawnee White has a block. Chante Bullbear did not score. She has two rebounds and two steals. Talia Bear Killer, who started tonight, 11 points, four rebounds. And Ileana fills the fight with a rebound. They have 22 team rebounds, 11 turnovers. For Eagle Butte, Marky Shaving with four points and a steal. Um, Jail on Red Fox, four points and two rebounds, one block. Daisy Lenz's horse, eight points, 
and eight rebounds, two mm. steals. She's only like 5'3". Yeah, I was going to say. Sunny Dupree with two She's points. A freshman? And two rebounds. Mm. Block shot. LaDonna Chasinghawk has three rebounds. Miranda Vines has two points. Linda Charger, who got the start tonight, has five points, three steals, three rebounds. And uh, Cassie Carter with a rebound. Shawnee Lawrence off the bench has a two. Uh, and the um, little one's out rebounded. China Eagle Butte 22 to 19. Turnovers, Eagle Butte has 12. And little one has 11, so real close there. Looking at, I uh, think our sponsors, Big Bats Conoco, Lakota Plants Propane, and Bowie Foods, Pine Ridge Oil, Pine Ridge Area Chamber of Commerce, Ready Cash and iBank and Rapid in downtown Pine Ridge, Prairie Edge Book and Music Store, all season screen printing in Hot Springs. We thank Oglala Lakota College, OST Department of Public Safety, Oglala Sioux Lakota Housing, and OLC's Head Start and Early Head Start program. We thank Ampeto Luto TP, Lakota Funds, Thunder Valley CDC, and Rosie's Singing Horse Trading Post north of Manderville. We thank uh, the schools, Pine City, Iowa, Crazy Horse, Little Wound, Red Cloud, Pine Ridge, and Ishnawicha, Iowa, over in Oglala. We thank Oglala Coach County Schools, um, Batesland, Rocky Ford, Red Shirt, Wolf Creek, and the Virtual High School. And coming this fall, it will be the new Lakota Tech High School. You're listening to Keeley FM Radio and watching on KOLT TV. It's 42 degrees or 48 degrees today, Thomas. Yeah, it was a nice day. Yeah, we're all getting a little uh, muddy. Soupy? Yes, it was. Huh. And there's that. Yep, they... They uh, decided they better get out. Yeah. Get out and go drive around a little bit. Not very far. Actually, I drove to Kyle. K-Town. Went to Angie's Burritos and uh, had me an Chow enchilada down. plate. Wow. Good. They brought it out. Hmm. I did, sat, ate that. Did my book for both games. Just like on roller skates, like the old days when you used to pull in the drive in Tom? Oh, no. They don't have roller skates in huh. Kyle. At Angie's Burritos. That would have been cool. Yeah. The old good old cafe days. Hey, did you ever watch that movie American Graffiti? Oh, yeah. You know, that was uh, the movie that funded Star Wars. Really? Yeah. George Lucas made that. That was his first movie, the introductions of the great Harrison Ford. But he... Um, foregone the movie rights and kept all the profit and from that profit is what he used to make Star Wars. Well he certainly got a little profit out of Star Wars as well. Just a bit. Does the clock look different? Oh no it's fixed. Okay little one has the ball to start the second half. They have the lead 30-28 and Melina Shangru gets it comes back out behind the arc. Rulard in the corner, down inside to Shengru for two. Give Macy Rulard the assist, her third. Melina Shengru with up to eight points now. And little one now up 32 to 28. Inside, oh, Marky Shaven gets in close and puts a shot up right down the middle of the lane. Shaven with six points in the game. It looks like Eagle Butte's gonna go right after Shengru with those three fouls. 32-30. And Shanker almost got her yeah. fourth foul on that one. It's tipped away, and Little One will turn it over. Up on top, that was Lenz's horse. Shaving. Backs in, goes down inside. Sonny Dupree, oh, wow. count the basket, and one. Is that going to be on Bear Killer or Rulard? I think it's going to be on Rulard. I think. So Dupree will get the basket and one. And the foul will go against Rulard. That'll be her second. Just don't trust me, Tom. Huh? Nothing. I waited for the official. The official official? So 
makes it a three-point play as Dupree hits that, makes it a one-point game, and Little One will turn it over again quickly on the break, trying to get it to Lentisort. Could not take advantage of it. They tried to get it down the floor in a hurry, and Eagle Butte will turn it right back over to Lady Mustangs. 33-32. Eagle Butte back into the lead. What's that whistle about? Ileana fills the pipe, checks into the game. Shawnee White works it on the right to Bear Killer. Goes to Zoe Long Soldier, hands the ball in the corner to Ileana, then tipped and stolen. That's the third turnover in a row by Little One. Driving in the lane, Dupree puts it up, gets her own rebound, and the put back for two. Huh. She can be handy, can't she? Yeah. She drove down the lane, missed it, but gets her own rebound. Make it 35 to 32 now. Eagle Butte by three. Boy, Little Moon has kind of struggled coming out of the half with that, getting that pass inside. They turned it over several times. Looks like going to be a timeout on Little Moon. Poor Sadie, Little Moon. Sadie Innowitz calls time. 6.29 to go in the third. Eagle Butte down by two at the half. Have come out to uh, go up by three, 35-32. You're listening to Keeley Radio and you're watching on KOLC TV. Well, Eagle Butte definitely came out kind of in a different um, mindset. They were been kind of clogging the inside up, getting in the passing lanes, kind of disrupting that inlet pass for Little One where they've been trying to go inside and they've been able to get that pass and convert it into a a steal and transition offense, and that has paid dividends for them. They were down by, what, two at the half? Or was yeah, it? yeah. And now they're back up by three. They kick it out to Macy Roulard, who catches and shoots a three. Who passed that to her? Roulard hits the three, and we're going to be tied. I think Shawnee White passed it in. White gets the assist, and we are tied at 35 all. That shot won't work. Zoe Longsoldier, that's her 10th rebound tonight. And she draws a foul. And Vines is going to get that foul. Miranda Vines, a 5'10 senior, picks up her first foul of the night. Shawnee White walks the ball up. Works it to the left. Gets the ball to fills the pipe. In the corner, on the left to Bear Killer, coming over. Back outside, Roulard, another three. Rims out, won't go, tipped up. And Eagle Butte grabs the ball, taking it coast to coast, putting it up, won't go. And Macy Roulard, that was um, Sonny Dupree. Roulard comes down with the rebound. Knocked out of bounds, it'll still be Little One ball. 5.42 to go here in the third. We're tied at 35 all. Rulard takes it out all the way out to Bear Killer. On the right to Zoe, quickly to Rulard in the corner, back outside to Shawnee White. White to Rulard. Kicks it, left side to Bear Killer, in the corner to White. Work the ball, almost to the elbow. Rulard, long soldier on top to Bear Killer. Pull up 12 footer, partially blocked. Who blocked that? Shavings. So Shavings got to block. Lends his horse. Drives to the free throw line. Back to Dupree. Dupree the Charger, a long two-pointer, knocks it down. Huh. Dupree gets the assist. Charger with the two. And it's 37-35. Eagle Butte. That was a good ball movement. It was. Bear killer. Floats the ball down inside. Double pump across the lane. Long soldier back outside from the corner. Long one won't go down and grabbing the rebound and spills the pipe. <coughs> that shot's not gonna work and is that? Charger. Charger, that's what I thought. He came down with a rebound. Charger to Dupree, pushing foul. Is that on Long Soldier? It is. That'll be her third. Yeah. Third foul on Zoe. Jay Ellen Red Fox checks into the game. Miranda Vines comes out for Eagle Butte. Dupree will take it out. Ends about nice bounce inside. Count the basket. Charger gets the basket and one. Mm -hmm. 
the foul against Talea Bearkiller. Her first foul of the game. Basket counted. Yep. Charger oh. make it 39-35. And Charger can make it a three-point play. Short off the rim won't go. Tracking down the rebound is Shawnee White for Little One. Her first rebound tonight. Zoe in the corner, a little give and go. Oh. In and out, Pilsenpike couldn't get it to go. The rebound came down to, uh, is that Dupree? Yeah. Sharving, shaving, excuse me, shaving's gonna be whistled for a travel. She got a little yeah. careless on how she started her drive and she'll turn it over. 39-35, Eagle Butte up by four. Johnny White will bring the ball up slowly, carefully. We're halfway through the third. Pills the Zoe Long over top of the key. Goes to the right to Roulard. Roulard to Bear Killer in the corner on the right. They go down inside, tip. And Linda Charging is going to come away with a steal, tip down, and Bear Killer comes away with it. Wow. So Charging got a steal. And Little one turned it over, but Bear Killer came away with it, and she put it right immediately up off the glass, and they get a two-point game. Eagle Butte up 39-37. Down low, oh, the nice. shot blocked by Rulard and out of bounds. Macy Rulard will get her first block tonight. Sunny Dupree comes out for a little rest. Little R and R, Tom. Ladonna chasing off comes into the game. A kick it outside. Lendersor drives, puts a runner up off the glass, won't go. And Bear Killer, instead of grabbing it, she tried to tip it out. Lendersor comes away with out charger. Linda Charger for a long two. She's got 11 now, and Eagle Butte back up by four, 41-37. A long shot won't go. Red Fox rebound. Joellen Red Fox. Shaving brings it up the right side, kicks it out to Lenza's horse on the wing. An outside shot for three won't go. Shawnee White will come down with the rebound for the Lady Mustangs. To Roulard on the wing on the left. Ball fake. Kicks it across to Bear Killer. Bear Killer works the baseline. Kicks it out to fills the pipe. Fills the pipe. Working it on the wing. Back down in the corner to Zoe, Zoe to Shawnee White, has the ball stripped, lends his horse, gets the steal, comes out of there with the ball, takes it down, bounces across the lane, gets the ball to Red Fox for two, lends his horse with the assist, and now it's a 43-37. So timeout on the floor, the little one calls time, 2.10 to go here in the third, and Eagle Beats built a six point lead now, they're up 43-37 over the visiting Shine Eagle Butte Braves. This is Keely FM Radio, and you're watching on KOLC TV. You know, give, you know, Eagle Butte has really done a good job with transition offense in this quarter. They, you know, they've gotten some steals, rebounds, and turned those into fast breaks. And, um, you know, they've gotten multiple players back, so they've gotten some nice two-on-ones, some nice three-on-twos, and they've been able to effectively take advantage of that. Um, the other thing I think Eagle Butte has done a good job of in this quarter is uh, moving the ball around on the perimeter and getting a couple of open shots. Um, Charger has hit some nice open shots because she's you know, kind of moved without the ball into the right place and got a nice perimeter pass. Hatton will get the ball inside the Shangri, turns and fires. That was quick. Sophia Hatton will get the assist, Melina Shangri has 10 points now, but she's been sitting on the bench for a while. Yeah. 43, 49, 39, four point lead. Lenses horse outside, goes inside, turn around, LaDonna chasing out, can't go. Shangri will come down with a rebound for Lady Mustangs. Quickly down the floor. Zoe put the shot up, it was blocked by, was it Red Fox or? Yep. So Red Fox gets the block. The little one ball. They're down by four, 138 to go. They go in the corner to Hatton, back outside to Shawnee, across to Zoe, a bullet pass inside to Shangu. Hatton back outside. She's gonna drive the lane, turns and oh. fires, can't get the shot to go, but will be fouled 
And Sophia Hatton will go to the line to shoot two. Almost Lens hit that. Lens is horse. Yeah, I, I really would have been surprised if it went in. It yeah. almost did. Hatton will shoot two. That was a quick release kind of shot. Misses a first free throw. 43-39, Eagle Butte <coughs> by four, a minute 28 to go. Eagle Butte comes in seven and four, little one five and five. Second shot off the back of the iron. Shangru, or I mean Long Soldier, and who? Lenses Horse. Lenses Horse, tie it up. Long Soldier and Lenses Horse, both with 10 rebounds. Wow. <laughs> They're going to say the arrow goes to Eagle Butte, so Shine River or Shine Eagle Butte will have the ball. Yeah. So we have both J. Allen Red Fox and LaDonna chasing Hawk on the floor for Eagle Butte. Red Fox on top, stolen by Sophia Hatton. She's going to take the steal once to go all the way down. Count the basket and one. So Hatton will get the steal and the basket and one. Lenz's horse will be whistled for the foul, her second. That was a productive uh, exchange for her. It was. A steal, a basket, and now a free throw. Her basket makes it a two-point game, and a successful free throw doesn't go. The rebound came down to um, Renee Moran. She got the rebound. Oh, down stolen. inside the steal, hat with her second steal in a row. She'll bring it down. Shawnee White across to Talea Bear Killer. Pull up. I thought she was better set to shoot yeah. over there, but it doesn't coming down with it. Charge, uh, lends this horse. She drives around Long Soldier. Can't get it to go. Red Fox with the rebound, and then Shawnee White with the rebound. Lady Very Mustang. Seconds. Hatton brings it up. Tries to go inside to Shangri. She turns and fires. Count the basket. Give Hatton the assist. Shangri the two and one. She'll go to the line for a three point play. Red Fox is going to pick up the third foul, Tom. And right now, with that shot, we should be tied at 43 all. We are. So it's 43 all. And Hatton can, or Shangri can give Little One the lead. Hmm. Wow. She can commit complete and she rattles it and it does drop and with that little one back in the lead 44 to 43 they work it on the wing pull up jumper nice shaving. little shot by uh, that's uh yeah that was shavings 25 marquee shavings with eight now 45 44 shangu gets it gets it back out to shawnee white tip and at the buzzer shaving with the steel Did as you see that Tom what well the red things when, when on I, the board came on like a second and a half before, before the, the buzzer went yeah we've completed three quarters and although little at the end of three Eagle Butte up 45 44 over the home team the little one lady Mustangs you're listening to coverage of girls basketball here on Keeley Radio, and you're watching on KLC TV. <clears throat> you know, in that quarter, I think Eagle Butte, they were, um, they really attacked the basket. They took their offense and went into the basket. They looked for post players down low. They had some nice um, turn and shoot type situations with Red Fox and. Um, Shavings did a good job driving on some pull-ups. Uh, Charger hit some nice outside shots that she found herself open after kind of some patient ball movement. Little Wound um, did a good job of kind of fighting back by going inside and attacking the basket as well. Little Wound has the ball to start the quarter underneath the rebound to Zoe Long Soldier. She kicks it outside. Who got that basket? Shawnee White. Shawnee White. So. Zoe got the rebound, she got the assist, and Shawnee White hits the three, gives Little One the lead, 47-45. Zoe's gonna pick up a foul, I think. That'll be, if it's her, that's gonna be her fourth. Yeah. 
fourth foul on Zoe Longsoder. They need her on the floor. Yeah, they do. She's got 12 rebounds. Only five points all in the first half. I'm going to call Hatton for a foul. Lenz's horse had the ball and got reach-in foul on Sophia Hatton. For Hatton, her second foul. That'll be the 15th foul on Little One. No bonus yet. So Long Soldier will come out. And Mir yeah, Miracle, Miracle Brown Bull. 5'11 freshman checking in. They go all the way outside to... Oh, wow. Dupree drives, can't get it to go. Uh, was that Bramble? That was Charger, though. Was that Bramble who got the rebound? Yeah. Into Molina, and she's tied up by Sonny Dupree. No, no, that was Charger. It kind of looked like Dupree, too, but it was actually Charger. Found herself open, but couldn't convert. Driving oh, inside. Blocked by Bromble. Bromble got the block. Shanger got the rebound. Outside, Hatton puts up a three and kind of an air ball. Yeah, not kind Did of. Did she kind of rush it? Yeah, quite a bit. One minute into the fourth quarter, little one up 47-45 over Eagle Butte. Lends his horse on the wing to Charger. Thought about a three to lay a bear killer. Comes over, puts some defense on. They work it on around the wing to the left. Lends his horse covered by Hatton. Now across to Shaving. Shaving drives into the paint between two defenders, but the her layup was too hard. Stolen Shanger by got the rebound. Shaving's got the steal as little one turned Blocked it over. Blocked by Shanger. So Bear Killer will come away with the rebound after. Who blocked it? Shanger? Shanger. Oh, blocked by um, Dupree. So Sonny Dupree with a block. Who came down with it? Uh, Charger. Oh, <laughs> then Shawnee White with a steal. Yeah. She's looking to take it down. Puts it up left-handed for two. So Shawnee White with a steal and the two. I was one of those situations. Shanger came up behind her and tipped it out to Shawnee White. Nobody told her they were coming. Dupree thought about a three, gives the ball back to Lenz's horse, and she'll fire the long ball. It won't go. Shanger with another rebound. Little one now up by four, 49-45. Hatton on the wing, back outside to White. Bounce pass, try, uh, try to get it down to Brown Bull. Went off little one, Eagle Butte ball. I think Eagle Butte's gonna call a timeout here to try to gather and regroup. Down by four, Thomas. 5.37 to go here in the fourth quarter. And little one has bumped their lead to four, 49-45, but we've seen the lead go back and forth a number of times. So Eagle Butte was up by 45-44 at the third quarter, right? Yeah. Huh. So Little One's on a 5-0 run. Seesaw battle, Tom. Seesaw battle. For a game this close, I, the crowd is not as enthused, I guess. What are they waiting for, Tom? OT, baby. That's what I was wondering. You think they'll be more excited about that? One would hope. Well, the OT gods aren't going to look favorably on the crowd. They're all just kind of sitting around like, huh, this is a good game, but everybody's just kind of watching, not really engaged. I think we should do the perfect cheer, Tom. To be honest, I think they're waiting for the boys' game. That's sad because this is a pretty good game. No, I, I, I was just stating a fact, you know. Yeah. Some great performances here. Eagle Beetle bring it up. They're down by four now, 49-45. On the wing to Charger. Talia Bearkiller tips it away, but Charger chase, tracks it back down again. Bearkiller stays with her. Charger back outside. Zoe Longsoldier on the floor playing with four fouls. Back outside to Sonny Dupree. On the wing, driving. Lends his horse. Couldn't get it. Go too strong. Shanger will come down with the rebound for the Lady Mustangs. 
Was that a foul? Yeah, Eagle Butte. I don't know if it's Charger or Vines. Vines. So Miranda Vines will pick up. I have her down for two. The board concurs. Macy Rulard checks in, and I couldn't see who came out. Shawnee White. Sophia Hatton on top. She gets the ball to Macy Rulard. Rulard gets nice pass into yeah. Shangru off the glass for two. Give Rulard the assist, and Shangru the two. She ha now has 15 points in the game and nine rebounds. 51-45. Down inside, they tried to get it to Sunny Dupree. Yeah. I think they were called Bear Killer from behind yeah. with the foul. You know, Dupree did a good job of posting. You know, just kind of feeling where she was and. Um, giving her guard a target to get her the ball. Second foul on Bear Killer. Uh, Miranda Vines comes out and JL and Red Fox comes in. No shots yet. 16 foul. Into Red Fox. Back outside. They go to Charger on the oh, run. Wow. The lens of source. She caught it and immediately put it up off the glass. Count the basket and one. So Lenza Source with a two and one. The foul on Sophia Hatton, her third. And 51-47 makes it a four-point game. Lenza Source makes it a three-point play. She's in double figures of 11 now. She's got a double-double, 11 points and 10 rebounds. And now it's a three-point game, 51-48. to 48. I missed that. Is there a shot? Sunny Dupree with the rebound, kicks it in the corner, outside shot, won't go to lay a bear killer, will come down with the rebound. What happened down there then? Was it a rebound or a steal? Yeah. That was a rebound. Not a good pass into Shang, who goes off of her. JL yeah. and Red Fox will come away with it as Little One turns it over. The three point game, Little One up. Trying to get the ball inside the Red Fox. Red Fox is whistled for traveling. She kind of. Got mixed up on her steps and yeah. then, then stopped, and that didn't work. Well, they that and Shangri, you know, did a good job of staying behind her and kind of forcing her into, um, what am I going to do with this ball, Tom? We're just a little over halfway through the fourth quarter. 3.57 to go, let alone up by 3, 51-48, but not a lead they can relax on. No, not. If this, I mean, this game has been back and forth with both these teams. One team going up, the other team kind of fighting their way back in and then taking a lead and just a seesaw battle back and forth, Tom. Just need the, I mean, Little Moon has 17 fouls right now, so Eagle Butte will be shooting bonus. Um, Eagle Butte has five team fouls. And we have several Lady Mustangs. Who is it? Zoe has four fouls. And Shangri has done a good job. She only has three, I believe, and Hatton has three. So um, we'll see if that affects, um, if Eagle Butte tries to exploit that and get to the basket and force um, Little One to either foul or not play as tight a defense and try to conserve their fouls here. Long Soldier. Gets the ball in the bear killer quickly to hat and dribbles behind her back and has the ball stripped. Linda Charger with a steal. And are they going to call a foul? Yeah. On Hatton? Seems it so. Charger. Hatton dribbled behind her back, but Charger was right there for the steal. Yeah. And they're not going to call a foul. No, there is a foul. It is Hatton's fourth foul. Yeah. And they, now they realize that's the eighth team foul. We'll see a bonus. One and one. Charger will be at the line for that bonus. Yeah. <clears throat> Hatton over talking with Coach in the woods. Yeah, you, you know, Hatton and Shangri have been a really good combination out there. Charger will hit the first, and she'll get the bonus. She's got 12 points in the game. Five steals, five rebounds. And she hits both free throws. She's got 13 now, one point game. Little one up, 51 to 50, full court pressure. 
Bear Killer gets trapped, gets over to Shangri. Shangri quickly nice. to Hatton. And Cannot finish it though. Well, Shangri did a good job of dropping that off. Right, right away. And, but Hatton couldn't finish it. Gets knocked out of bounds. It'll be Little One Ball. Long Soldier will take it out. All the way out to Bear Killer. Back to Long Soldier. Puts up about a 16 foot. Oh, it's a three. I couldn't tell. And it's a three pointer by Long Soldier. That really helps. She's got eight now. But more importantly, Little One has moved their lead to 54 to 50, a four point lead. 3.23 yeah. to go. Fourth quarter driving oh, in the lane. Nice. Shangri with a block. Long Soldier comes down with the ball. Shavings went for the steal and knocked it out. 3.17 to go. Inbounds the bear killer, and she'll walk the ball. They're going to try and trap her. Ball gets tipped. Bear, uh, Rulart up the floor to Hatton. She shovels the ball outside another Long three. Soldier. Second three in a row by Long Soldier. And Hatton with another assist. And now make it 57 to 50. Long Soldier with back to back threes. If it's on Hatton, that's going to be five on Sophia Hatton. She'll foul out. So Hatton will pick up her fifth foul. She'll foul out with 2.46 to go in the fourth quarter. Lenz's horse has kind of created a defensive challenge there, huh? She's quick. So Lenz's horse will go to the line. It's the ninth team foul, so it's still one and one. She misses the front end, and Zoe, Zoe. Long Soldier right there for the rebound. Zoe gets it back, oh. tried to get it to Shangru. Shangru's tall, but not that tall, and it goes no. over her head and out of bounds. Coach Look. in the woods is saying, just slow it down. <laughs> yeah, we're up by seven. We don't yeah. need to be in a hurry. 2.39 left. Almost a two-minute warning, Tom. Timeout on the floor. Alan Benoist, the coach for Eagle Butte, calls time. 2.34 to go here in the fourth. Little one up by seven. 57 to 50. This is Keeley FM Radio. Coverage of girls high school ball and you're watching on KOLC TV. Yeah, I think Eagle Butte, you know, one, I mean, Long Soldier, did she hit two threes in a row in these last couple of possessions? Yes, sir. So, I mean, I think Eagle Butte has to figure out how to keep their defense spread out and contest those kind of shots. Um, offensively, you know, Shangru has done a good job of kind of clogging up that inside. You know, she's a, a, a presence down there and has created some challenges for Eagle, or Eagle Butte when they try to drive and shoot over her. So, you know, the thing that Eagle Butte isn't doing, though, is they've had a couple of opportunities here going to the free throw line, and they have not been able to capitalize on that. So, you know, if you're Coach Benoist, you want them to emphasize to your team, we got to hit these free throws. Lenzasaurus drives, ducks, dishes the ball off to Red Fox, can't get it to go. And Zoe Long Soldier with another rebound. She's got 15 boards now. She's a double double, 11 points and 15 rebounds. She's done a good Down job low, tonight. Zoe Long Soldier. Who was it? Was that Bear a killer. Bear Killer? Yeah. Bear Killer with the assist. Zoe Long Soldier. Gets a pass, she makes it, and make it 59 to 50 now. Little one up by nine. Brett Fox drives in, puts a shot up, no good. Charger. Good hustle by Charger. She yeah. hustles in there and gets the rebound and then bangs it off. Shangri. A minute 56 to go here in the fourth. Eagle Butte takes that into Red Fox. Timeout, Eagle Butte. Alan Benoist calls time again with 1.53 to go. Now it's 59.50. Yeah. Little one up by two more. They're up by nine with a minute 53 to go. Eagle Butte hasn't scored in a grip, Tom. Yep. Other games going on. Custer Lady Wildcats are at Red Cloud. It was Red Cloud up 17-3 to three over the Custer Lady Wildcats at the end of one. Huh. At the half, it's... 34 to 6. That's Red Cloud up over Custer. Very evenly spaced. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
it's even, right? Yeah. Custer had three points the first quarter and three the second quarter. Well, not only that, Red Cloud had 17 both quarters as well, Tom. Yep. It's almost like Groundhog's Day over there. We're just living the same quarter over and over. What day? Groundhog's <laughs> Day. You know, you get stuck in these ruts and they just don't go away. Game on, Tom. <laughs> Groundhog's Day for crying out loud. Inbounds, Eagle Butte trying to go inside. Red Fox goes back outside the Lenses horse. They're down by nine. Time slipping away. Tipped Same. and stolen, and Marlena Shangri gets a steal quickly to Shawnee White, and she gets fouled. So Shangri with the rebound. She's got a double-double now, 15 points and 10 boards. Lenses horse going to pick up that foul. Daisy with her third foul. And Shawnee White will go to the line to shoot two. She had no points in the first, second, or third quarter and now has five in the fourth. I was waiting to see if it would be six, but she missed the first free throw. She'll shoot again. 59 to 50. Misses both free throws. Red Box will come down with the rebound for the Lady Braves. Sunny Dupree drives, scoops it up, won't go. Red Fox with the offensive rebound, no good. Shangru will come down with the rebound after Red Fox couldn't make her shot go. They tip it and coming with the rebound. Sunny Dupree with a steal. As the little one turns it over, that shot's not going to go. <laughs> Lenses horse in the middle of some tall timber comes down with the wow. rebound. Underneath, they get, who got the, that ball to Red Fox? Dupree. Red Fox got the basket, Dupree got the assist, and make it 59-52, but we're under a minute to go. Long soldier in the corner at Roulard. They go to Shangri underneath, tries to get it too quick. Tips the ball out, gets her own rebound. Across it goes to Bear Killer. That shot short, won't go. Coming out of there, is that Charger? Yeah. Charger with the rebound. Inside, oh, wow. off the glass, lends this horse for two. She's got 13 points and 11 rebounds. Timeout on the floor. Now it's 26.5 seconds ago. It is a closer game, five-point game. That's two possession, 59-54. Little many, one up over Eagle Butte. How many rebounds does lends this horse have? 11. Wow, she's 5'3", Tom. I know, 13 points and 11 <laughs> rebounds. It shows you yeah. it's not always the height. It's always about position and basketball awareness, huh? And rebounding's hard. Yeah. You gotta get in there and be able to bang away. Yeah. And hustle inside and fight for the ball. Scratch for every inch of the basketball. And she's 5'3", and she's, yeah. she's scrapping. Well, it was that last two possessions ago, she uh, followed up on Dupree's missed shot in between Shangri and Shawnee White and just pulled the rebound down and kept it alive. Long Soldier into White. She'll be fouled immediately by Lenz's horse. That's going to be her fourth foul. Yeah. You know, this is one of those situations if you're Eagle Butte, you probably want to bring in a player who has some fouls to give and have them do the quick fouling and not have your starters do that kind of fouling. No Room left, lends his horse, and Shawnee White, you just missed two free throws. Yeah. Is that the line, front end of one and one. And missed it. Lends his horse rebounds. So the strategy worked. Almost. Except Eagle Butte will turn it over. Yeah. At yeah. this end. Right idea, bad execution. So White will take it out. Inbounds. The Bear Killer back to White. White down the floor to Zoe Long Soldier, Melina Shangru to uh, Rular. Rular as Rular. she works her way down the baseline and will be fouled. I mean, that little one did a good job just kind of moving the ball and keeping it away from Eagle Butte to run the clock out. Second foul on Shavings. And Rular will stand in for a one and one. This is a free throw. Rebound comes down. Red, or um, Lawrence. Shiny, Shiny Lawrence. Say a oh, three wow. by Linda 
Charger hits the three and make it a two point game with .6 seconds to go. 59-57. Yeah. You can view this and there should be more time left. That last turnover, remember they yep. got the stop and the rebound and down here, that really made a difference. Yeah, because if they could have converted that, it would have been a tie game and you would have got your OT, baby. I hear you. At the but line no. is Rular to shoot, still one and one, ninth team foul. So Rular will be shooting at one and one. But not today, Tom. Foul on Dupree, her second foul. And Rular knocks down the free throw. She'll get the bonus. Little one with two players and double figure rebounds. Rulard will hit both. She's in double figure points now with 10 points. 61-57, that's the ball game. The final score, the Mustangs finish it out. Win it 61 to 57 over the visiting Shining Go Butte Lady Braves. 61-57, the final score. Little one will move into a winning record. They're six and five now and Eagle Butte will be seven and five. We'll uh, wrap up this game and then get ready for the boys game. Your thoughts, sir? Well, I, you know, I thought both teams, you know, did a good job of kind of fighting back <clears throat> when they were down and being able to come back and um, cut into the lead, take the lead. And then um, unfortunately, neither team, except for little one there towards the end could sustain the lead and so um, you know, kind of hats off to Little One tonight to be able to sort of figure out how to um, effectively take away Eagle Butte's um, ability to kind of keep driving. I think um, Molina Shangru creates a challenge for a lot of teams when it comes time for um, trying to drive she's able to kind of just be a good presence in there go straight up she played that whole second half um, without picking up any fouls I don't think and so it was a, a good thing for her to be in there for little one to help provide whether it's um, solid defense good rebounding or else just um, her presence changing shots in there um, I thought Lenz's horse was you know she was fun to watch tonight she was scrappy, um, hit some big shots. I mean, uh, rebounded like no other. And, um, you know, I, I think um, one more possession of hitting free throws, which I think Eagle Butte, they missed a couple of front end, a one and one there in the last part of the game. That made a big difference since they lost by four. Um, but if you're Little Wound, you like the energy Zoe Long Soldier brought tonight. She was everywhere tonight. She did a great job of rebounding, of uh, hitting some open threes when the game was kind of in a close, um, in a close uh, uh, gap. And she kind of hit two threes in a row and kind of opened the game up for Little Wound in a big way. And so, um, you know, Little Wound had a pretty good game tonight, I think. One area that you look at for Little Wound is, as you're getting this far into the season, kind of honing in and making sure that um, you got to watch the fouls, you know. Um, being able to watch the fouls with their team because uh, Hatton fouled out tonight. Shangru kind of was a little more limited because she was not able to stay on the floor for parts of the game because she got in foul trouble and you know Zoe picked up her fourth foul but was able to finish the game so you know if I think if you go away from this for a little one you want to work on your free throws um, taking care of the ball I think there's a couple turnovers at the end that they'd like to have back but um, being able to kind of move your feet or do whatever you got to do to not foul because you got to be on the floor to finish the game or else um, doesn't help you a whole lot. Well, you know, some balanced scoring for Little One. Mm -hmm. um, they, um, um, Melina Shangri finished with 15 points and 12 rebounds. Wow. Zoe Long Soldier, she finished with 13 points and 15 long, uh, 15, let me see if I can, yeah. 
She she had 13 points and 15 rebounds. Wow. Um, Macy Rulard had 10 points, and Talia Bearkiller had 13. So little one had four girls in double figures. Shangri with 15, Long Soldier 13, um, Talia Bearkiller 13, and Macy Rulard 10. So it's really nice to see, you know, that the offense spread out like that, and four in double figures really helpful. Yeah. So Hatton finished with five points, four steals, four assists, one rebound. Zoe Longsoldier, in addition to 13 points and 15 rebounds, she had five assists and two steals. Huh. Shangru, in addition to 15 points and 12 boards, had two block shots, a steal, and an assist. Roulard, in addition to 10 points, she had a block, four assists, and a rebound. And Shawnee White finished with five points and three rebounds. Chante Bullbear had two rebounds. Talia Bearkiller, 13 points, six rebounds. She had an assist and a steal. Uh, Miracle Brown Bull had a block and a rebound. Um, and Ileana Phillips if I had two rebounds. They had 21 turnovers. They had 43 team rebounds. And Eagle Butte, they had 19 turnovers to Little Ones 21. Eagle Butte had 33 rebounds to Little Ones 43. So Eagle, uh, Little One had a 10 rebound edge. Marky Shaving finished with eight points. She had a block and two steals. JL and Red Fox had eight points. She had two steals, two blocks, and six rebounds. JC Lenz's horses, only 5-3, had 13 points, three steals, an assist, and 11 rebounds. Sonny Dupree with seven points, four rebounds, two blocks, two steals, two assists. LaDonna Chasing Hawk had three rebounds. Uh, Renee Moran had a rebound. Linda Charging with 16 points. Five steals, seven rebounds. And um, Carter had a rebound. And Shawnee Lawrence, she had a rebound and a two. And so, a again, the finals. In a pear tree. Final score was 61 57. And um, good game. Yeah. It, it was. It was. Crowd energy. <laughs> no. Uh, tonight's ball game brought to you by Big Bats. Conoco, Lakota Plains, Propane, Bowie Foods, Pine Ridge Oil, Pine Ridge Area Chamber of Commerce, brought to you by Ready Cash and iBank and Rapid and Pine Ridge, uh, Prairie Edge Book and Music Store, Downtown Rapid at 6th and Main, and All Seasons Screen Printing. We uh, thank um, Oglala Lakota College, OSC Department of Public Safety, Oglala Sioux Lakota Housing, and OLC's Head Start and Early Head Start Program. We thank on Peyton Luto, TP, Lakota Funds, Thunder Valley CDC, and uh, Rosie is singing horse trading post north of Manderson. We thank the schools, Pine Sente, Iowa, Crazy Horse, Little Moon, Red Cloud, Pine Ridge, and Ishnawicha, Iowa. In Oglala, Oglala Coast County Schools, Batesland, Rocky Ford, Red Shirt, Wolf Creek, and Virtual High School. Uh, we're going to take a short break. We'll be back in about nine minutes for the boys' game. Stay tuned. This is for, Keely, for uh, Stacey Phelps and Keeley Sports. This is Tom Casey. We'll send it back to Porcupine Butte.
We're back once again coming at you with the boys game. Shiny Go Beat Braves in town. Shiny Go Beat Braves come in six and three. Little one is five and three. Starting tonight for the uh, Little One Mustangs. Ralph Bearkiller, 6'2 junior. Lance Christensen, a 6'1 junior. Trey Yellowboy, a 6'5 sophomore. Andreas Dubray, 6'2 junior. And Carlos Plenier is a 6'6 junior. Those are the starters for Shiny Eagle Butte. Riley Hotchkiss, a 6'1 senior. Rance Harrison, a 6'0 junior. Spencer Moran, a 6'3 junior. Leon Brown on her 6'2 senior. And Nevin Mendoza, a 6'1 senior. Those are the starters for the Shiny Eagle Butte Braves. Again, Shiny Eagle Butte is six and three. Little one is five and three. We're coming at you. This is Tom Casey here with Stacy Phelps. Spencer Moran will jump up against Carlos Plenty Arrows, and we're ready for the start of this ball game. The tip will come down to Little one. Grabbing it is Bear Killer. Tried to hit Yellow Boy, and the pass is a little bit off the mark, and Little one will open with a turnover. Just a bit outside. <laughs> it was. It went sailing by, kind of a miscommunication. They work it to the left, back up on top, Harrison. Down on the baseline, of Moran, they kick it across from the corner, a three. Knocking down that three is Hotchkiss for three. Who passed that to him? Um... Eagle. Carlos Plenieros for two, pass from Christensen. Lance Christensen will get Number, the assist. And 23, Brown Otter got the assist before. Okay. So it's three to two. Eagle Butte up after Brown or Plenieros gets the basket. From the corner, another three, a little bit long, it won't go. Bear Killer will come down with the rebound for the, the Mustangs. Three, two, just not quite a minute gone. Debray works it left side. Gets the ball to Bear Killer, just about stripped. He'll go back to, you can't leave Debray alone, but he puts it up, won't go. The oh. rebound, and it's coming down with it, Brown Otter. Brown Otter takes it down, kicks it in the corner. Driving, a little pup shot from the corner, won't go. And is that, get out of there. <laughs> Bear Killer. Yeah, I, I thought it was him, but I wow. had to, check and make sure yeah came down with the rebound debray up on top calls to play shots out instructions works at the plenty arrows in the lane that the pass is stolen by mendoza will get the steal as little in their second turnover it's bear still killer. three two bear killer with the foul yeah so the foul will be on ralph bear killer his first at the line is that mendoza Nevin Mendoza, yep. So in the program, they have Hotchkiss as Hopkins. <laughs> I was thinking Hotchkiss, really? Hopkins. Because uh, we saw him play a lot at L and I, so I was thinking, hmm, did they get a new player? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Missed the first, though. This is Mendoza at the line. Eagle Butte and their away blue blue jerseys with hit. red and white trim. And he hit one. He huh? hits the second one. Mendoza does and make it four to two now. Eagle Butte up by two. Down low. Oh. Trey Yellowboy has it. Blocked. Was that Mendoza? Got the block? No, Moran. Eagle Butte threw it away. Little so, little ball. Still four two. Little one will take it out. Debray will bring the ball up as uh, Mendoza and Hotchkiss kind of wait for him. They work it to the left. Christensen back to Debray to the free throw line. Then the Bear Killer tried to go down, down low to Plenty Arrows. And Mendoza, uh, Moran kind of screened him away from the pass. And it goes sailing out of bounds, ends up being a turnover. So Eagle Butte ball, Hotch or Harrison will be bringing the ball up for Rance Harrison. Eagle Butte, five thirty-eight to go, first quarter. Eagle Butte up four-two. They work it to the right. You saw it, little and last. They kick it down the baseline. Good ball movement. 
Back to the left, and a three-pointer won't go. Rebound, wow. Bear Killer down with another rebound. He's got three first quarter rebounds already. DeBray on the right with Mendoza hanging close to him. Eagle Butte playing a man-to-man -man defense. They work it to Christensen, stops, fires the ball inside to DeBray, goes inside. They're gonna say it went off of Harrison and out of bounds, but it will be little one ball. Yeah, I tried to drop it down low to Yellow Boy. But you saw this little one team Tuesday night against Todd County, and they were a bit rusty. They were. Driving inside. Yellow Boy. Nice drive by Yellow Boy. He can stretch out and stretch every bit of a 6-5 frame, and we are tied at 4-all. Well, they had had a few days off. I think their coach mentioned they had about 25 days off. Well, no, that's not day. I mean, just without games. I right, mean, without games. Eagle Butte turned it over. Little one with the ball. We're tied at four. 4.34 to go here in the first quarter. On the wing, Andres, quick shot, catch and shoot. Couldn't hit get it to go. Hit the shot clock up on top. The ball gets turned over. He normally can shoot pretty well. We've seen him put up two shots now and, and yeah. not really close. So, But Eagle Butte is playing him tight. There's a steal by Yellow Boy. Looking to take it coast to coast and does. So Trey Yellow Boy with the steal and he takes it home for two. And now make it little one, their first lead of the game. They're up 6-4. Outside of three, won't go. Yellow Boy muscles the rebound away from anybody. And coming up, tipped, tipped again and stolen. Coming away with it is Rance Harrison. He'll take it in and then brings it back outside again. They were, they were committed to getting the ball. Timeout on yeah. the floor. Eagle staff, the coach calls time. 30 second timeout, 3.48 to go here in the first quarter and Little One is up 6-4. Um, he didn't like what he saw. No, I think, you know, in spite of them getting that still there, they kind of had some sloppy moments um, before that. You know, Little One, did a good job, um, Trey Yellowboy, of kind of corralling the rebound and trying to hand the ball off to Andreas Dubre and just just a um, kind of a sloppy handoff and it kind of became a soccer ball rolling around out there with a few little one players touching it and Eagle Butte players getting the ball and Eagle Butte came out of the scrum with the ball and uh, Eagle staff decided to call a timeout to sort of regroup his players and kind of focus on Hey, how do we use this possession effectively? Inbounds in the corner. Back outside. Hotchkiss thought about a three. Kicks it to Harrison. Off balance shot won't go. Got his own rebound. Harrison. They kick it. Baseline jumper. Is Hotchkiss. that a three? Yep, a three. I couldn't tell if it's that far away. Second three in the game by Hotchkiss. Eagle Butte back in the lead, 7-6. Christensen goes inside the yellow boy. They're gonna call a foul on Leon Braunauter who does not agree with that. He, like us, he does not get a vote. No, he does not, and he's best not to say a word to the no, ref. No, no, it's early to get on their bad side. We can say all kinds of words because they don't hear us. Yeah. Bounce pass underneath. Oh. Bear he couldn't get it to go. Mendoza, or Moran will come down with a rebound. Andreas Dubre fouled Mendoza, who muscled it in for two and goes to the line to shoot one. So Mendoza with a three-point opportunity, and Dubre will pick up his first foul. Two team fouls on Littlemore, one on Eagle Butte. It's 9-6 now with that basket. An opportunity to put the game up to yeah. 10 and he does. He's got four points and now make it a 10-6 lead for Eagle Butte. Their largest lead has been two, or three zero actually to start the game. What? Travel. I, was it travel? Okay. Yeah. So a little one turns it over. And they have to be careful. They've got to take care of the ball. Well, Eagle Butte is capable of being explosive offensively, so. Harrison works the ball left side, back to Mendoza. Mendoza to Harrison, down in the corner now. 
outside. That Leon Brown are in the lane, and if it's a foul on Debray, that's going to be a second. Yeah, two quick ones for Debray. He kind of got his hip out there, and outside, out behind the arc, one hand pass to Hotchkiss, pull up and won't go underneath with the rebound. Is that Yellow Boy? Yellow, Yellow Boy, Boy came rebound. down with the rebound. He draws a foul. Spencer Moran's going to pick up the foul. His first. Third, second team foul on Eagle Butte. Little one has three. Eagle Butte kind of full court man to man here. Bear Killer will bring it up. Switches. Goes to his left. Stops just outside the free throw line. Goes to Christensen. Back to Bear Killer. Trying to get it inside to either. Two arrows down inside the yellow boy. Makes a nice shot off the glass. Couldn't get it to go, but does draw the foul. Yellow boy will shoot two. Yellow boy is going to have to come out. Who, uh, the foul is on Leon Bronner. That's going to be his second personal. Third team foul in Eagle Butte, and yellow boy will hit the first one. He has five of his team's seven points so far, yellow boy. I like Yellow Boy from the very first game. Yeah. He misses the second one. Moran Good will job. come down with the rebound. Jinxed him, Tom. What, by saying, saying I liked him? <laughs> yeah. Outside the Brown Otter. Brown Otter working to his left. Whoop. He kind of took an extra step. Yeah. He got kind of hung up in there, and they're going to call him. Good guilty. defense by Christensen. Forced him to have to jump and hop and come down. Bringing the ball up is Christensen while he calls the play. Oh. Gets it across. Ways and driving. That's Brown Otter with a seal. Just you can't have those kind of passes up on top. Yeah. And little one will turn it over. Brown Otter with the steal and the two. And it's 12 7 now. Bear Killer drives. Looks like he'll draw the foul. It'll be the fourth team foul in Eagle Butte. Checking in for Little Wound is Lucas Apple, a six-foot senior. He comes in for uh, uh, Christensen. Apple with the ball on top. Needs some help. Coming out to help him is Yellow Boy. They go in the wing to Debray. Trying to go inside, back outside to Apple, to Bear Killer. Right there is Harrison. Shot clock's at 13. There's a steal by Brown on it. Brown on it, another steal as Little One turns it over. That shot's not going to work. Yellow Boy. He got the rebound, and Hotchkiss is going to foul him. Okay. So Yellow Boy comes down with it. Hotchkiss trying to take it away, gets whistled for the foul. Bringing the ball up is Apple. It's 12-7. They go get the ball to plenty of arrows. Outside to Bray. And that's short. Grabbing the rebound is Mackay Moran, who's on the floor now. That outside shot won't go with the rebound right there in the plenty middle. Arrows. Carlos with the rebound. That shot's not gonna work. Kicking it back outside, coming away. There's plenty of arrows. Back outside, bear killer for three. Off the iron won't go underneath. Was that Apple? Apple, yeah. Apple got the uh, rebound. Dubray nice. underneath gets Yellow Boy, and Yellow Boy's gonna be fouled by Moran. Moran all over his back. It was a nice pass down to Yellow Boy, and just couldn't get to the basket cleanly. Got hammered. Second foul on Moran, and Yellow Boy will shoot two. Right now he's one of two from the free throw line. I think Yellow Boy is going to have to come out. Oh, has he got blood? Yeah, on his knee. Well, 
Exactly. And Dozier wants to take a timeout rather than the replace the player. Well, he was shooting those free throws too. He's a pretty good free throw shooter normally. I don't think he's going to get that option. Well, you can't take a timeout. I don't know. In the ball game for Yellow Boy and end up shooting um, 50 is Chavez who? They have just BB in the book. What's his last name? I think that's Brave Bird. Okay. He hits the first one. And misses the second one. Dylan Cooney in the game. And they're going to call Dylan Cooney for an over the back as he tried to take the rebound away. That'll be the fourth team foul on the other one. Eagle View has six. 12-8 as Braybird hits one of two. I believe it's Braybird. I'll go find out. Yeah. But I mean, that's I get pressure when they just put initials in the book. Yeah. Did you take a photo of the official book or the little one book? That was the official book. See, I, I just don't go along with that. that. Down inside, cutting across the baseline. That's Spencer Moran. He gets the basket, and you just heard the buzzer, and we have completed the first quarter. And at the end of one, Eagle Butte has the lead. They are up 14 to eight over the Little One Mustangs. You're listening to coverage of boys high school ball here on Keeley FM Radio, the voice of this great Lakota nation. 14 to eight. Yeah, it was Brave Bird. Okay. Confirmed. Thank you, sir. Well, you know, Eagle Butte is, uh, you know, they're, they kind of came out and scored right away. And a couple of long shots by Hodgkiss and Little one kind of fought back by going inside, going to the basket. But towards the end of the quarter, um, you know, Little one had some key turnovers and Eagle Butte was able to kind of capitalize on those, get to the basket, draw some fouls and go up. Now it's 14-8 Eagle Butte. They start the ball with the second quarter. They're working on the wing. Harrison back to Moran, or I mean, to, excuse me, to Mendoza. Pull up, Apple, <laughs> Apple got the <laughs> rebound. And he got bumped and ended up on the floor. So they don't call him a foul. They just call him for traveling. Yeah. I never agree with that. Well, not when it's right in front of the person. Outside shot, Makai <coughs> Moran doesn't go. Leon Brown out of right there for the offensive rebound and the put back for two and make it 16 to eight now. Bear Killer goes to the right wing and over to Dubray. Brayberg working around. Lucas Apple from the corner for three won't go. Cooney has hands on it, but it's going to be Apple who comes away with it. They call double dribble or travel? Travel on Bear Killer. Yeah. So little one, Yellow Boy is going to come back out on the floor. Little one, they just, they look a little rusty still. And that game was Tuesday. Yeah. This is Saturday. Brown Otter steps back. Nobody comes out, so he, he just knocks down a three. Nobody came out and put a hand in his face or anything. So he says, okay, I'll just do this. And they get 19-8, the Braves up over Little one. 6.39 to go. Down into Debray, double pump, puts it off the glass. In traffic, Debray gets it up for two. He has that mismatch down there with Mendoza on him. He's trying to exploit it and post. A minute and a half gone here in the second Travel. quarter. They're going to call extra steps on Brave, uh, on uh, Brown Otter. And Brown uh, Otter's 
talking a lot. He's gonna. He's gonna draw some attention to himself, Tom. It's never good. Unwanted attention. Apple brings it up. Lucas goes to Yellow Boy back in the ball game. They work it. Back out on top, Dylan Cooney. Right side, Apple gets it, posting up as Bear Killer. They double team him. Drives in, puts it over everything. Cooney with the rebound and a put back for two. So Cooney with an offensive rebound and the two and make it 19 to 12. That's Little and scored four straight. They kick it all the way across. Mendoza drives. He tried to kick it to Moran, but the pass was not even close. No. Little one has kind of extended their defense out to a man-to-man -man now. And, you know, Trey Yellow Boy and, you know, he's a hard target to throw over. <laughs> Long arms, tall player. So Apple will bring it up. 19-12, Eagle beat by seven. Yellow Boy out on the wing, drives, puts it off the glass, won't go, went after his own rebound, but Apple's gonna come away with it. He gets the rebound and will be fouled. Travis Lofton. That's who did the foul? Yeah, six foot junior. He's 31? Yeah. His first foul. And the Debray left wide open, he knocks down the three. So he couldn't score in the first quarter, but he's in a deuce and a tray Boy. here in the second and make it 19 Bear, Bear Killer and Makai Moran are going at each other. From the corner for three, won't go. It's gonna go out of bounds, it'll be Little One ball. Yeah, Makai Moran got his own rebound, but stepped out. Little One on a 7-0 run. They were down 19 to eight. It's now 19-15, so they're Watch. on a... Watch Bear Killer and Moran. I mean, I know you gotta watch the whole game, but. <laughs> Down inside, off the glass, Dylan Cooney for two. I didn't see who passed that to him. Um, Andreas. Harrison drives. They're gonna say, oh, they're gonna say it went off of Eagle Butte, Little Moon Ball. Hotchkiss will come in. So, now it's a, it was 19-8, now it's 19-17. Makes a, a 9-0 run for Little One. They were down by 11, and they're down by two now. Nine unanswered points. Bear killer, and they're gonna call traveling on Debray. He was kind of careless about taking a step. Little One will turn it back over into the game. Christensen back in the game, and Bear killer, um, Andreas goes um, out, yeah. Harrison working it to the right. Makai Moran goes down inside. They're going to kick it back outside. Hustling over to get the steal. Christensen. Yeah, I couldn't see. Yeah. <laughs> Eagle staff is right in your view. <laughs> I know. It just drives me nuts. I'm not going to make him sit down, Tom. I know. No into Yellow Boy, and he's gonna be bumped from behind if it's on Brown Otter, it's his third. I think it's gonna be on Makai Moran. Okay. He's a very hands-on defensive player, we'll say. He picks up his first. Eighth team foul on Eagle Butte. So Yellow Boy will go to the line and Chance shoot. to tie, Tom. He hits the first one. <sighs> and he'll shoot again, 19-18. That makes it a 10-0 run. And he hits them both. Boy, he, he doesn't have a lot of arc, uh, just kind no, of a straight. Line drive. Yeah, yeah, line drive, there you Nin go, Tom. 19 all, it was 19-8, now it's 19 all as little one on an 11-0 run. Down on the baseline, pull up from three, and burying that three. That is uh, Lofton. Travis Lofton for three. Good cross-court passing by Eagle Butte. 22-19, Eagle Butte up, and a turnover on the Mustangs. And it will be brave basketball. 
Timeout on the floor. Eagle Butte calls a full timeout. 3.45 to go here in the first half. It was tied at 19. That big three in the corner by Lofton makes it a 22-19 Eagle Butte lead. This is Keeley FM Radio, and you're watching on KOLC High School Boys Basketball. Well, definitely, if you're Little Moon, you want to come back into this game and kind of keep attacking the basket. I think that's where they're having success. Eagle Butte has done a good job of kind of passing on the perimeter and looking and getting some of those open shots again. So we'll look to see if um, if Little Moon's going to be able to cut off those passing lanes and take that long cross-court pass away because that's how Eagle Butte in the first quarter also was able to get a lot of those open threes from those opposite side passes. So. Harrison will bring it up. Across to Moran, back to Harrison. Leon Brownhauter for three. Can't get it to go, Bear Killer will come down to rebound. He threw the ball away, Harrison. Harrison. Grabs a steal as Eagle Be or Little One turns it over again. Eagle beat by three, 22-19. Another three-point attempt. Bear killer with another rebound. I'm gonna say it hit the uh, the strap thing on the basket. I'm not taking the rebound away from no. Bear Killer. Yeah, I wouldn't either. <laughs> Lucas Apple drives mm. into Yellow Boy. Off the glass, he bangs it off the glass. Talk about no arc. <laughs> he is fun to watch. He's only a sophomore, Thomas. Yep, 22-21. Harrison for three. Another three by Harrison. Right, Eagle Beauty hits another. 25-21. to Eagle Beauty up. Was that a rebound? No, it was a steal. Leon Braunauter with the steal. It's little one Lofton for three. Travis Lofton off the bench. Two threes here in the second quarter. Now made it 28-21. 222 to go. First half. Stolen by Lofton. Lofton gets the steal, takes oh, it down. Hawkins. Who was that? Hawkins, Hawkins with Hawkins. the block, but Hotchkiss gets the rebound and puts in the basket. And now, you say it was Hawkins? Preston Hawkins with a yeah. block. Christensen on top in the corner to Bear Killer. Back outside to Lance. Lance drives, puts the runner up. They're going to call a blocking foul and put Christensen at the line to shoot two. 1.49 to go in the first half. It's 30 21, Eagle Butte up by nine. They had an 11 point lead at one point, and Little One went on an 11 0 run to tie it up, but now it's back to nine point lead. Yeah, Lofton picked up that foul. Christensen hits the first. His first points tonight. Lofton with his second foul. 30 22. And he hits them both. 30-23. Eagle Butte up by seven. Hotchkiss has the ball stolen. Coming away with it is Christensen. Down to the baseline. Bounce pass. Not the best of passes, but Yellow Boy gets it, turns, and knocks it down. He made the best out of not very much. Uh Makai Moran tried to throw it in and threw it off the backboard, went out of bounds, Little Wound ball. Timeout, Little Wound. Mustangs call time, 125 to go here in the first half. Eagle Butte, was, we're up by nine, the lead's cut to four, or five. It's 30 to 25, Eagle Butte by five. Boy, I just think Yellow Boy, he has such good hands whenever he, um, Plays down low, he's able to kind of go after the ball, and um, there we had a pass that was um, kind of a little out of his reach, but he went out of his way to get the pass, get the ball, and go to the basket and score. And um, 
you know, I think he's a, a really quality player for Littlewood. He's kind of, I don't know how many points he has, but he definitely is think he's keeping them in the game right now. Well, he has 11. 11 points and three rebounds. Heights out, Arlo's plenty, plenty of those with the rebound and the put back for two. Makes it a three point game. Eagle lead up 30 to 27. Brown out of right down the middle of the lane for two. 32 27, Eagle beat by five. Andreas DeGray across. Christensen gets it into yeah, uh, plenty of those. Back out to Lance Christensen for three. Won't go. Tipped up. Yellow Boy with an offensive rebound. Good job on that. Baseline DeGray for a long two. Yeah. Good job by Yellow Boy keeping that alive. 32 to 29. A three point lead for Eagle Butte with. 25 seconds to go in the first half. 19 seconds on the shot clock. There's about two second difference in the game clock and the shot clock. Hotchkiss burning the seconds down. He drives, kicks it, a three point shot outside, won't go. And it's out of bounds. Again, no, there's the still. See, here's the problem. The red light goes on and there's Yeah, there's there's 1.6 seconds left on the clock. They're kind of not matched up. No, they're not. There's 1.6 left on the clock. Little Wounds ball. Down the head floor to Debray as it's stripped as Moran gets over there and takes it away from him. He'll get the steal. Little one turns it over. We've completed the first two quarters. At the end of the half, it is Shiny Eagle Butte up. 32 to 29, a three-point lead over Little one. You're listening to coverage of boys high school ball here on Keeley Radio, and you're watching on KOLC-TV. A word of note, the LNI two-time, three-time LNI defending champ. The White River Tigers have lost their first game of the year. At Hanson Classic, they played Canastota and lost by 20, 64-44 oh, wow. to Canastota. That game tonight in Mitchell at the Corn Palace in the Hanson mm -hmm. Classic. The Red Cloud Lady Crusaders won their 11th game of the season, defeating Custer 52-16 was the final score of that game, 52-16. Red Cloud had held Custer Lady Wildcats to three first quarter points, three second quarter points, and 10 second half points to win it. Your thoughts on this game here, Stace? Um, you know, I think this was a game so far, I mean, it kind of goes back and forth. Eagle Butte jumped out on Little Wound, went up by 11. And uh, Little Wound kind of battled back, took the lead, went up for a little bit, and then Eagle Butte came back and were able to um, kind of take the lead again and go up by nine. And um, just when you kind of thought it might get away from Little Wound, you know, Little Wound came flying, or not flying, but came kind of scrapping their way back in. And I think what's working for Little One is that um, they're able to kind of attack the basket inside. And they're using that height advantage um, effectively with Trey Yellowboy, Carlos Plenieros, Dylan Cooney, and even Andreas Dubre. He had a height advantage over, I think it was Mendoza, and was posting him up. And um, I think instead of settling for a lot of outside shots, you know, if you're Little Wound, I think you want to exploit um, your advantage, which is with that post game, and just try to pound the ball inside. Whenever um, Eagle Butte double and tries to double and triple team that post player, then you could drop over and find, you know, somebody cutting, 
So if you're a little one, you don't want a lot of guys standing around watching the paint dry, so to speak. But once that ball goes down into the post, cut to the basket, get to an open spot, be visible. So if um, Yellow Boy or Plenty of Rose or Cooney, you know, gets double teamed, they got somewhere to drop the ball off to. Um, and that's where I think they have been most effective in terms of cutting into the lead and um, coming back on Eagle Butte each time when Eagle Butte kind of gets out on them. For Eagle Butte, you know, they <clears throat> have kind of lived and died by the three in some respects. And, you know, they started off real quick, kind of went out on Little Wound, hit some nice threes, and then extended that by getting some steals, going to the basket. Played a full court press there for a little while and kind of disrupted Little Wound ability to bring the ball up and set up their offense. And, you know, they got some two-on-one, three-on-one fast breaks and were able to convert those. And going back, though, Little Wound has been able to kind of break that press, get down, and before Eagle Butte gets back, they get a nice pass inside and and are kind of exploiting the post game for Eagle Butte. And Little Moon has all the height. If you, you know, Eagle Butte's tallest guy is 6'3", and Spencer Moran, well, they have a, a player 6'5", who hasn't come in, but the only ones they've played, you know, are all either 6'3", 6'2", or 6'1". And so, you know, Trey Yellowboy at 6'5", has, you know, done a very good job tonight. Carlos Plenero, 6'6", Dylan Cooney, 6'9". Um, all of those players have been able to kind of post and turn and shoot. And, you know, th that has, in my opinion, that is what has been working for Little Wound, is that it's forcing Eagle Butte to have to double and triple team them. And um, Little Wound's able to either get to the basket and score or drop it off and get somebody cutting and score. And, um, you know, that defense has really helped. I think, I don't know how many turnovers Eagle Butte has, but... You know, they, you know, towards that second quarter, they did kind of have a few more turnovers than in the first quarter, I think. Looking at the numbers here, the, uh, for a little one, Bear Killer has five rebounds and an assist. Lance Christensen has two points, two steals, and one assist. Dylan Cooney has four points and one rebound. Trey Yellowboy, 11 points and four rebounds, one steal. Andreas DeBray with seven points, two assists. Chavez Braybird off the bench with one free throw. Carlos Plenieros has four points and two rebounds. Lucas Apple hasn't scored, but he has four rebounds. Preston Hawkins has a, a block. Um, Little one's actually out-rebounded Shiny Eagle Butte, 16-7 a big edge on the boards. Uh, Riley Hotchkiss with eight points and a rebound. Rance Harrison, three points and a rebound. Spencer Moran, two points and three rebounds. Leon Braunauter, nine points and a rebound. Makai Moran with a rebound. And Travis Lofton off the bench with two threes. They only have eight turnovers to 14 turnovers for Little One. Little One has been really careless with the ball at times, and they have 14 turnovers to eight for Shine Eagle Butte. The difference right now, just a three-point game, 32-29. We saw a couple runs in the game, and one in particular, uh, Eagle Butte was up 19-8, to and Little One reeled off 11 unanswered points to tie the game at 19 all. Since then, it's been back and forth. And right now, it's 32-29, Eagle Butte up. We want to thank our sponsors, Big Bats Conoco, Lakota Plains Propane, and Bowie Foods. Pine Ridge Oil and Pine Ridge Area Chamber of Commerce. We thank um, Ready Cash and iBank in Rapid City and in downtown Pine Ridge. Uh, Prairie Edge Book and Music Store downtown Rapid at 6th and Main and all season screen printing over in uh, Hot Springs. We thank um, Oglala Lakota College, OSC Department of Public Safety, Oglala Sioux Lakota Housing, and OLC's Head Start and Early Head Start program. I want to thank uh, very much the uh, um, Petaluto Tipi, Lakota Funds, uh, Thunder Valley CDC, 
And um, um, Rosie's Singing Horse Trading Post up in uh, um, north of Manderson. Well, I think uh, um, on Petaluto Teepee, Lakota Funds, uh, Thunder Valley CDC, and Rosie's Singing Horse Trading Post. We thank the schools, Kai City, Iowa, um, Crazy Horse, Little Moan, Red Cloud, and Pine Ridge, as well as Ishnawicha, Iowa. We thank um, Oglala Lakota County Schools, um, Baseland, uh, Rocky Ford, Red Shirt, and um, Wolf Creek. Sadie, how are we doing? This is Sadie in the Woods, head coach for Little One. Hello, welcome, or thank you for having me. How are you doing? Uh, very well. <laughs> I'm glad that we won. We pulled ahead in a tough game and showed a lot of heart, so I'm really proud of my girls. Yeah, there were some definitely times when you were down. Mm -hmm. um, you had a had a big run there to get back in the game. Um, and I, I thought um, I really liked the play of Zoe Long Soldier. Oh, yeah. I mean, she just seems to be handy. She ended up with a double-double. She had 13 points and 15 rebounds and five assists and a couple of steals. Um, Melina Shangru, you know, she started slow. She only had six points the first half and four rebounds. She had some foul trouble, but she came out in the second half. She ended up with 15 points, 12 rebounds, a couple blocks. So those two, Talia Bar Berkel, I see she got the start tonight, and she finished with 13 points and six rebounds. But you had four girls in double figures. Shangri with 15, uh, Long Soldier with 13, Berkeley with 13, and Macy Roulard with 10. So that balanced scoring really helps. Oh, yeah. I mean, we played Eagle Butte at Allen I, and... We suffered a tough loss, but um, one thing I love about this group of kids is that they don't put their heads down. They come back to practice every day, and they ask me to open the gym, even on the weekends, and they come and put in the work. So I think tonight it really showed. Um, I love, love playing, uh, coaching Zoe. She's only about 5'9", but she gets rebounds like she's about 6'2". She's, she's tough. She's got a great... IQ for basketball. She's got a lot of heart, and I'm excited to watch her and, and hopefully coach her on to the next level. Uh, Melina, she's tough. She's only a freshman. Um, she comes in. She puts in work every single day, and, and I think she's shown a lot of improvement, especially um, in her free throws, and she takes everything seriously. If I tell them, you know, it takes extra work to move on to the next level. If you want to play college ball, you got to run the extra ladders you got to shoot extra shots every day and as soon as i say that she's out there and she she puts in that work so i'm excited to see where they go in the future well this is your first year as head coach how's it how how is it oh <laughs> um you know what i've been playing for over 20 years um, all the independent circuit watching duke basketball watching professional basketball semi-pro and i thought about at one point retiring and putting my shoes up but, but coaching has really just sparked re-sparked my passion for basketball in a whole other way watching them grow and improve and be respectful on and off the court and then working hard in the classroom and you know they've been doing community service and looking forward to college and and goal setting and I you know it's really it's just really another chapter of basketball for me, and I really, I really enjoy it. Well, you picked up a win tonight. You're six and five. You have Red Cloud next here on your home court, but not till February 3rd, so you have a little break here. Red Cloud won their 11th tonight. They beat Custer. They held Custer to, to three points in first quarter and three points in second quarter. Wow. So you have Red Cloud coming in 11 and one. Um, will you be ready for them? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I remember Matt training me as a young kid and it's an honor to coach and to be on the floor at the same time as he is and you know I have a lot of respect for him and the work that he makes the kids put in in the off season and, and I've, I've learned a lot from him so I'm excited looking forward to it well Sadie thank you very much and I really wish you well the rest of the season right. um so you're halfway through it I wish you well thank you thanks a lot thank you Eagle Butte, uh, Little One had the ball to start the um, second half and they turned the ball over. Eagle Butte come right down and they turned it over. And now 
Eagle Butte has the ball. Harrison on top, works it right side. Gets the ball to Hotchkiss, to Spencer Moran. Back on top to Harrison. Leon Braunauter back outside. A three-point shot won't go and will go off of, they're gonna say it went off a little one and out of bounds. And it will be Eagle Butte basketball. Sadie in the woods, we thank her for her visit. Coming off of a win. Working at Mendoza to Moran in the corner, back out to Harrison. Harrison directing traffic. Shot clock's at 19. Back to Brown out on top. Head fake, drives, puts the floater in the lane, comes up a bit short. Bear killer will come down the rebound. He's got six rebounds. Hasn't scored yet tonight, but six rebounds. Finding a way to be productive. Yep. Debray back intended for Bear Killer and goes off them and so they <laughs> jinxed him. I see uh, Rob Mendoza is holding his head on that as yeah. little one turns it over. They, they didn't want to lose that one. No, they had 14 first half turnovers. Now two more to start the second half and they're going to call Mendoza for walking. So Eagle Butte turns it back over. It's still a three point game. 32-29. Mustangs with it. You know, I think Bear Killer is one of those players who's capable of scoring kind of whenever he wants. He just has to get aggressive. I remember listening him. to you guys in Todd County, and he, in the first half, he had no points. In the second half, he had 14 yeah. second half points. Yep. So, like, where was he the first half? Yeah, that's the thing. You know, Andreas hit a lot of threes, but, you know, Bear Killer was on the bench. I think he had two or three fouls. Mendoza, they work it down. Moran tipped and stolen by Bear Killer. Gets yeah. a steal. What a steal. Yeah. He knocks it out of bounds and saves it to Plenty Arrows. The, hit got, the pass got knocked out of bounds. Mustang ball. 32 29 Eagle Butte by three. 6 09 to go. Into Bear Killer. Back down in the corner. They go to Plenty Arrows. Double teamed. Nowhere to go. Back to Christensen in the corner. Shot clock at 19, into plenty of arrows, can't get it to go. Yellow Boy with the rebound for um, Little Good Boy. Ray missed the three, plenty of arrows got the rebound and hit for two. So it's a one point game, 32-31. Eagle beat by one. We have a, a foul. Plenty of arrows. Carlos will pick up, I have him down for, that's his first. Yep. The board concurs, Tom. And at the line, Harrison, you always say that with some surprise in your voice. Yeah. Harrison to shoot two, and he hits, misses the first one. It was looking good, but then rattle out. He'll shoot again. 5.43 to go, third quarter. Misses both free throws, and plenty of arrows will come down with a rebound. Bear killer. Drive, falls down, tips the ball to Debray into Yellow Boy for two. He gives Debray the assist. Yellow Boy the two. He's got 13 now. And a little one back in the lead, 33-32. Little one by one. Eagle Staff standing on the sidelines as crossed arms. They get it down inside. Nice pass down yeah. inside to Mendoza. And he floats one up. Little pup shot for two. Kind of exploited the empty spaces in that zone. 34 to 33. Eagle beat by one now. On top, they go to Bear Killer. Ralph works it right side to Christensen. Back to Bear Killer. Go left, and the Mendoza with a steal. Looking to run on Bear Killer. Off the glass, count the basket, and one. So Mendoza, Nevin Mendoza will get his third steal. He'll get the basket. He's got eight points and one. And the foul will go against Bear Killer. That'll be his second personal. So he's kind of taking himself out of the game. Bear Killer comes out, and Luke, no, uh, this is uh, Caleb. Caleb Braveagle, a 6'2 senior, comes into the game. So Mendoza trying to complete the three point play, and he does. He's got nine now, and now it's a four point lead. 37-33. Little one turn it over? Yeah. 
Yep. Go from up by one to down by four. <laughs> yeah. They get the ball into Moran, who gets it right back out, and but stolen by DeBray. DeBray gets the steal. Stolen by Brownotter. Leon with another steal. On the shot, there's going to be a foul on the shot. Is it Hotchkiss who will go yeah. to the line? And Carlos Plenier will pick up his second foul. Hotchkiss to shoot two. They can add to their lead. I'm, I'm going to be, Rob Mendoza, I'm going to be a little frustrated. Uh, yeah. Little as they haven't been consistent tonight, they've just been up and down. And he rattles that in. He's got 10 points now. And make it 39-33, a six-point lead for the Braves over Little One. 4.05 to go. DeBray drives, kicks it, tried to kick it in the corner to Christensen. Um, Little One trying to say it was deflected. Rob Mendoza not happy. He thought it was deflected by Eagle Butte, but they're going to say Little One just turned it over. What did you see? I didn't see it. I mean, it seemed odd to me. I thought it was a deflection, to be honest. Well, that's what I thought I yeah. saw, too. Down low, Spencer Moran wide open. The third straight foul on Plenty Arrows. That's his third straight. He had none coming into the second half. I mean, if you're Little One, you probably want to take a timeout and kind of gather yourself because... You know, like I said, they were up by one, kind of fought their way to go up by one. Now they're down by six again, with the possibility of being down by eight. Well, Moran hits his first one. He'll shoot again, 40-33. He'll go right back to the line. Dylan Cooney in the game. For, so Moran will hit them both. And it's an eight point game, 41 to 33. The Braves up by eight. Christensen drives, dishes it to Cooney. Cooney was not under the basket. Actually, Christensen was closer to the basket than Cooney yeah. was. They, the Bray kicks it all the way across, goes down into Cooney, kicks it back outside to Bray Beagle. Cooney spins, puts it up, comes up short. Yellow boy had it, but lost it out of bounds. Yep, couldn't quite grab the handle. 41-33, 3.25 to go here in the third. Inside to Brownotter, back in the corner to Moran. Moran back outside to Mendoza. Tried to hit, her, uh, who is that? That Hotchkiss. tried to hit Hotchkiss going to the corner and not the pass is off the mark and they turn it over. Little one ball. They're down by eight now. Christensen will bring it up, picks his dribble up, gets the ball up to Brave Eagle. Bounce pass into Yellow Boy, back outside to Christensen to Brave Eagle, pulls the trigger on the three, misses everything. And Mendoza will come down with a rebound. He gets it up to Moran, back to Mendoza, looking to drive on Cooney. Across, Hotchkiss pulls up for three and knocks it down. Hotchkiss for three. He's got 13 now. Now it's an 11 point game. Maybe a timeout here. 44 33. And DeBray kind of elbowed Moran out of there. That's an offensive foul, but they didn't call it. Bray be going down to Cooney on the baseline. He tries to dribble in, almost lost it. Out to DeBray, who fires a three ball, misses Yellow everything. Boy. Yellow Boy got the rebound and the assist to Cooney. Yellow Boy, the uh, rebound, he gets the assist to do, Dylan Cooney, gets a two, and we have a... We're gonna call it technical. On Little Boy, on a coach. So Rob Mendoza will get a T. Right now it's 44-35 after that Cooney basket down to nine but we're gonna with the technical Hotchkiss is gonna go to the line or what well they're in the middle of a timeout first oh okay 
so they're going to do a timeout. And then, <laughs> and then I don't know what's going on. The other team just came back out now. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> what we know is there's a technical, and Hotchkiss is going to shoot two free throws. And here in the second half, we have four team fouls on Little One, none on Eagle Butte. Yeah. Hotchkiss will shoot the two free throws. First shot's up, and he nails the first one. If he hits his points, I think he's going to get a 1,000 here. Really? Yeah, I think so. Riley Hotchkiss. Riley Hotchkiss with those two free throws has hit his 1,000th high school point. They're going to bring out a basketball and a quilt, a star quilt. So a little pause. There was first a timeout, and then a technical foul, and now the 1,000th point by Riley Hotchkiss, and a little break in the action for some honoring here. And right now it's 46-35, Eagle Butte up by 11. An 11 point lead. With 2.13 to go. Maybe this is the timeout Little One needs. <laughs> what, what, that, would, that is a, definitely a positive spin on this. Yeah. <laughs> Rob Mendoza has, he coached at Eagle Butte for a number of years. Yeah. They're working on the wing. Eagle Butte, Moran, a wide open look for three, and he rattles it down, give Hotchkiss the assist. Moran hits the three. That's the and make it 49-35. Eagle Butte now up by 14. Little one has dug themselves a bit of a hole. Bear Killer steps back in and out, won't go. Underneath, looks like Bear Killer gets his own rebound and the put back. So Bear Killer gets his first points in the game, 49-37. A 12-point lead. Ball's out of bounds. They're going to call a foul. The foul's going to be on Andreas DeBray. DeBray will pick up his third foul. Fifth team foul. He's going to put Hotchkiss right back at the line to shoot two more. He's got 15 points in the game. That's his 1,001st point. Yeah. Harrison coming out. Travis Lofton, who hit two threes in the second quarter, comes out, comes in. Notch gets back at the line, and he hits both of them. He's got 17 for the game and 1,002 for his high school career. 51-37. Christensen. Working it right. Back it goes to Bear Killer. Bear Killer. Hands the ball back to Christensen. Working it on the right wing. He'll drive. Kicks it to, from the elbow. Dylan Cooney, a 15-footer. He's got eight now. Christensen with the assist. And make it 51-39. From the corner. That's... Nevin Mendoza won't go. Offensive rebounds by Hotchkiss. Hotchkiss. Yeah, he went up and got that. 
Leon Braunauer drives, kicks it outside to Mendoza who drives, puts the floater up in the lane, won't go. Dylan Cooney with the rebound. Bear Killer will bring it up. Works it to the right, drives in, takes a step in the lane, goes out of bounds. I think I going to say it was deflected. So it'll be Mustang ball. No, nope, Eagle, Eagle, Eagle Butte ball. Hmm. Nope. Mustang, Mustang ball. ball. <laughs> They're throwing us some curve balls. Yeah. All the way out to Brave Eagle. On the wing to Bear, Bear, uh, Bear Killer. Back outside to Christensen. 35 seconds to go in the quarter. Drive Christensen on the runner. The shot will be fouled, and Lance will go to the line to shoot two. Lance's only points tonight have been from the free throw line. He's two for two from the line. Rob working on number two down there. He's not, a, he's not even supposed to be standing up now. When you get a technical, you're supposed to sit down. Mm. Christensen will hit the first one. He's three for three from the line now. I think he sat down now, but. Something came out, one of the balls they hand out came out, so they, they called the whistle just as Lance was shooting. I'd want, I'd say, Hey, I, I don't care about it. Give me credit for the basket. Yeah, because they it. went in. Yeah. yeah. So and if you get a technical as a coach, you have to. You're supposed to sit still. Sit down. Lance got a steal on the inbounds. So Christensen with a steal as Eagle Butte turns it over. It's a ten point game, 51-41. Cooney tried to spin and they stripped the ball from him. Yeah. So. Little one turns it over. Oh, they're gonna say it went off of Eagle Butte. So Eagle Butte will turn it right back over. Hmm. So it's Mustang ball. Yeah. 20 seconds to go in the quarter. Underneath, they get the ball inside. Didn't battling matter. for it. <laughs> nope. There's a Hotchkiss who yep. came away with it. Quickly up to Brown on it for two. So Hotchkiss gets the steal, the assist. Brown Otter gets the two. Six seconds. 53-41. Christensen up on top One. to Cooney, turns and fires. And can't get it to go. We have completed three quarters at the end of three. Eagle Butte, they were up just by three at the half. They've increased their lead. They're up by 12 now. 53-41 over Little One. You're listening to coverage of boys' high school ball right here on Keeley FM Radio and watching on KOLC-TV. Uh, Riley Hotchkiss with nine third-quarter points has led the charge for Eagle Butte as they go up by 12, 53-41. What was the score at halftime? Uh, three points, 32-29. I like that picture. I sent it to you. Okay. And that one too. Okay. That's good. You know, we've seen years where like Pioneers had two players that scored a thousand points and Yeah. Yeah, you know, we saw remember Kobe O'Rourke hit a thousand and I probably had a thousand travels and turnovers. <laughs> That's a lot of points. When, when what do you gotta average to get that? Well, I mean, you're talking, you have four years of high school, but um, you don't always have a whole lot of points in your freshman year. Yeah. They go into Cooney, who turns and fires, can't get it to go. Remember Kayla Laundry getting her thousandth point? She got hers already? Oh, yeah. And I think she's working on 2,000. Inbounds underneath, the ball gets tipped, and Mendoza. Quid's aware that the Moran can't get it to go, and, and DeBray will come away with it. Christensen for two. Did DeBray pass it to him? Yeah. Okay, 53-43, it's a 10-point game now. Eagle Butte up by 10, we're in the fourth quarter. 30-second timeout to Little One. Timeout on the floor, 7.39 to go in the game, 53-43. 
Eagle beat by 10 over the Mustangs. Well, if you're going to make a run, now's the time, Thomas. I so Canastota, are they normally pretty good? They won tonight by 20, you said? Yeah, they beat White River. Yeah, they beat White River by 20. You saw them play last year. Oh, is that who Little One played or Pine Ridge? Uh, Little One played Canastota. Oh, yeah. Okay. In Madison. Huh. Does White River have any players hurt? I don't know. Uh-oh. Lofton will bring it up. They work it in the corner to Moran. Back outside Mendoza. They work it in the corner. Driving and stolen. stolen. Bear killer gets the steal. Kick it oh, outside oh, oh, and oh. coming back with it is Lofton. Oh, he gets the that. steal and the two. I mean, they almost get a call to foul on Mendoza. He kind of blocked Dubray from playing defense on that fast break. 55-43, back to a 12-point lead. Moran. Could not get that shot to go, and Spencer Moran will pull down the rebound. So Eagle Butte gets a stop, driving, won't go. Dylan Cooney will grab the rebound for the Mustangs. Quickly up the four to Christensen, and that's Lofton with a foul. Yeah. His third. Lucas Apple will check into the ball game. Dylan Cooney's coming up. Where is um, Trey Yellowboy? He's in there. Is he? Short, way short. Grabbing it was Brown out there, stolen by Lucas Apple. Lucas gets the steal. Yellowboy missed, but Christensen came in with the rebound. Lance will be fouled. That'll just be the third team foul on Eagle Butte as Harrison gets ready to come in. I think Lofton's going to come out. Yeah. For Lofton, if that fouls on him, that's his fourth. It is. Tom, you are so prophetic. Just the numbers, baby. That's all, just numbers. Yeah. Like the rain man of basketball. <laughs> no, not hardly. Debray over, under, kicks it off the glass. Too strong, He's won't go. Having a bad game tonight. Is that Moran in there for the rebound? Hotchkiss for three. Who got it to him? Hotchkiss knocks uh, down another three. Mendoza got him. He's the got ball. 20. Nevin Mendoza with the assist. Make it 58 43. Down into Yellow Boy. Who hit it? Yellow Boy. Yellow Christian's Boy it. got the two. Lance got the assist. And it's a 13 point game. 58 to 45, 13 point lead. Working on the wing, back across to Mendoza. Lucas Apple all over him. They're gonna call the foul, reach in foul. I was foul. gonna say, either gotta call a foul or five seconds, cause <laughs> it's getting to be a little bit of time on task there for Lucas. 16 foul on Mustangs, no bonus yet. 5.35 to go in the fourth. Eagle Butte by 13, 58-45. They go to Harrison on the left, and, and Eagle Butte careful, got comfortable just working the shot clock. Down to the baseline to Moran. Back outside, they go to Mendoza. Drives in the lane, dishes it to Brown Otter. Back outside to Hotchkiss in the corner. Brown Otter puts up a three, won't go. And Spencer Moran and Lucas Apple go, both come up with the ball. The possession arrow goes where? Eagle Butte. Eagle Butte. Moran into Hotchkiss, back outside to Harrison. New shot clock. 4.56 to go. Fourth quarter, Harrison to the elbow, left side, in the corner, Moran back outside the Hotchkiss. They work it, again working the shot clock, down to 18, drives, pulls it up. Not what you really want. Yellow Boy 
pulls down another rebound. He's got seven for the game. Stolen by Mendoza. Stolen by Mendoza, foul by Apple. So that'll be the seventh team foul. Should be a bonus now. Mendoza was his fourth steal of the ball game. If you're a little one, you're thinking, you need a hero right now, Tom. Somebody who's big, fast, who's ready for the fight. Checking the game is Tayton Long Soldier, a 5'7 junior. Maybe it's Tayton. And at the line is Mendoza to shoot the bonus, one and one. Zoe Long Soldier was the hero of the last game. Won't go. Yellow Boy with his eighth rebound. Long Soldier works it up to Debray. Debray will be fouled by Mendoza. Reach in, foul Mendoza. I think that's his. Okay, they got him down for two. Only a fourth team foul. Second foul on Mendoza. <clears throat> Little one will take it out of half court. Christensen across to Long Soldier. Drives into the key, goes down to Christensen, can't get it to go. Will be fouled, and Lance will go to the free throw line to shoot two. Brown Otter. Leon, is that his third? Yep. <laughs> Lance will hit the first free throw. He'll shoot again. He's got seven points for the game, three assists, three steals, and a rebound. 4.20 to go, fourth quarter. And he'll hit both free throws. 58-47, 11 point game. Little one needs to stop. They bounce it off of Christensen's foot. They're gonna say that it's a little one ball. <laughs> Change that. They change yeah. it. Make it Eagle Butte ball. Inbounds to Hotchkiss, down to Harrison, covered by Long Soldier. Harrison drives around in the lane, pull up 12 footer, won't go. Yellow Boy with his ninth rebound. Pull up jumper from outside for three. That was Christensen. That was oh, way off the mark. Boy. It was what? Yellow boy for a foul underneath. So, yellow boy. I have him for just one. Really? Yep. Hmm. So do they. You know, it's an 11 point game, right? Yeah. And we're just a, almost a half. It's 3.52 in the game, just. So scads of time left. Yeah. Huh. It doesn't feel like it. Eighth team foul. Puts Moran at the line to shoot the bonus one and one. And he nails the first one. 59-47. He misses a second one. Debray will pull down the rebound. Got to go now. The pass is tipped away by Mendoza. DeBray tracks it back down in the backcourt. Kicks it over to Christensen. They go down inside. It's tipped and stolen. Hot kiss for two. Who, who got the steal? Was it Mendoza? Yeah. Mendoza got to, gets the steal and the assist and hot kiss for two. There's Bear Killer. I mean, just... Smooth as silk to the basket for two. Only a second field goal tonight. 59-49, a 10-point game. That's nothing. Nope, Brown Outer on top, works at left side. Long Soldier trying to put some D on. Pull up jumper off the glass. That's Rance Harrison for two. You gotta get stops though if you're gonna climb back into this game. Yeah. Bear Killer drives. Yep. Oh, no, they're going to call it on the ground. On but the floor. 16 foul, no bonus yet. But again, Bear Killer, he could do that all game. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they can't even get close to him in turn when he goes to the basket. Then he does something like that. <laughs> Who got the steal? It was a steal by um, Brown Otter. 
Leon will come away with a steal. Uh-oh. That should be a technical. He pushed uh, Dubre. <laughs> he just kept pushing him. Who did, Brown Otter? No, um, Mendoza. Some heated feelings down here, the officials involved. Yeah, so, I mean, he just pushed him, like, literally just shoved him back. Ron Otter picks up his fourth foul. Dubre for two. Pass from Bear Killer. 63-51. 12 point game. Out on the wing, two and a half to go. This time, Yellow Boy will pick up the foul on Hotchkiss. Be the ninth team foul. Yellow Boy is second foul. And Hotchkiss will go to the line to shoot one and one. This game's kind of slipping away. It is. And when, I mean, you had time to get back, but you had to take care of the ball and, and every, make everything count. Hotchkiss no. will shoot, hits the first one. Hotchkiss with 23 points in the game. He's the leading scorer. He'll hit them both. 24 in the game and make it 65 to 51. 14 point lead. Debray on top, trying to get some room, drives. And he's gonna be fouled on the way to the basket. Debray. Harris, Harrison's gonna get the foul. So Rance Harrison, his first foul. And Debray will shoot two. You know, the Eagle Butte players are very conversational <laughs> after the calls. <laughs> okay. DeBray will hit the first one. He's got 10 points in the game. Capable of a lot more than 10. Yeah. 65-52, Eagle beat by 13. Make it 12, because DeBray hits both free throws. I mean, you could be pressing maybe if you're a little room. Down by 12. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can't just let them walk up and use the clock. Well, they've been doing that. I mean, they're, they've used the shot clock every time down. They work it in the corner to Harrison. He doesn't pull the trigger on a three. Instead, they kick it around. Brown out or outside. They get the ball. Potts gets the wrong one to foul. Bear Killer will get the reach in foul. For yeah. Ralph, that's his third foul. And it's a 10th team foul, so automatic two shots for Hotchkiss. What about, what, 26 seconds, 30 seconds went off the clock? In and out. Yeah, yeah. Hotchkiss will hit both free throws. He's got 26 on the night. 66-53. From the corner, a three won't go. Yellow Boy with a rebound, put back, and one. Yellow Boy with the offensive rebound. He's got 10 rebounds now. And he's got 17 points and one to go the line. The foul is Marty Ross. First time he's in the game. He misses the second one. Hotchkiss, Hotchkiss. came down with a rebound. They work it back outside. 119 to go. Fourth quarter. Brave Eagle all over Moran. Kind of smiling about it, but very well, physical. He kind of threw his elbow off right in front of the rim. This game got a little. Um, yeah, it got a little ugly. 
Yes. A little out of control. I mean, you can understand the intensity and energy, but. Um, Moran will hit the first one. It's 12 point game. That's where you appreciate a guy like Lewis who keeps control of the game right from the get go. They missed that one. DeBray comes down with it. The runner off the glass rolls off. Yellow Boy with the rebound. He gets his own rebound and the putback. So Yellow Boy with two more rebounds and the putback. 67-57, a 10-point game. Foul by Bear Killer. Ralph will pick up his fourth foul. At the half, Red Cloud is up over Custer Boys, 39-16. They had a 19-5 lead at the end of one, and that lead at the half, 39-16. Double header. Is this not going to be halftime over there? Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. Second shot won't go. Tipped up, tipped up, and coming away with it. Going to be Brave Eagle. Caleb Brave Eagle with the rebound. Down low. Is that Yellow Boy? Yeah. And one. Yellow Boy. He's got eight fourth quarter points and could make it nine with a free throw. The foul against Hotchkiss, his third. 68-59, now it's a single digit lead, but a little late in the game, 48 seconds to go. You get the sense that it was doable at one yeah. point. Yeah, I mean, it was like 350 something and it was what, 10, 11 points? Yeah. Misses a free throw. He should get another one. Lane Harrison violation. stepped in. Yeah, so lane violation against Eagle Butte. 68-59, he can make it an eight point game, which is three possessions, and he does. They're gonna kind of trap Moran in the corner. Long Soldier is gonna pick that foul up. Tate Long Soldier pick up his first foul and put Moran back at the line. He is two of four from the free throw line here in the fourth quarter. Four for six in the game. He's shooting two though? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 69 60. Eagle beat by nine. Moran will hit them both and make it a 10 point game again. 70 to 60. A three-point shot. Wow. Is that by Bear, Bear Killer? Killer. <laughs> Bear Killer hits the three. <laughs> Tom. What? Where has that been? I know. 70 to 63. It, <laughs> yes, I know. I, I was of, of the opinion back, well, like you said, about 350 in the game, that there was still opportunity. Well, yeah, I I mean, I think one of the things that if you're down by 10, 11 points, you're down in around that 90 seconds, two minutes, three minutes to go, you know, you have to be able to put on a full court press to kind of change the, the rhythm of the game if you're a little wound because Iggy Butte was content just to walk the ball up and then milk the clock. And, you know, little one has to has to, you know, kind of, now they're getting ready to press, so. 40 seconds to go, seven point game. This time they foul Harrison. Yeah. Harrison will take two shots. And the foul is on Tayton again. He'll pick up his second foul. We're way past. 10 team fouls and double yeah. bonus, so Harrison will shoot two. Hits the first one. Yeah. 
and he hits them both. They work it up to Bear Killer, working his way in the corner. Brave Eagle underneath to Yellow Boy for two. That's a seven point game. 72 65. Who got fouled now? Hotchkiss again? Yeah. That's that's not helpful. Fouls by Brave Eagle. Caleb Brave Eagle. Pick up his. Well, they have. Evan for three. Yeah, but they have Dubray up there. His number. Oh. Well, my bad. Fouls on Dubray. <laughs> Hotchkiss hits the first, misses the gets second, but he gets, gets his own rebound, yep. Yeah. And it threw it out, you could beat threw it out. So they'll turn it over with 21 seconds to go. Into Debray, up the floor to Bear Killer. Bear Killer, long three-pointer, won't go underneath. Yellow Boy with a rebound, oh, could not get that to go, and Moran will come away with it. <laughs> now they're not even letting them fall. <laughs> That's the ball game. The final score, Eagle Butte will pick up their seventh win of the season, 73-65 to 65 will be the final score, 73-65. Eagle Butte will now be seven and three on the season. And Little Moon will be five and four on the season, having, they were five and two and they've lost her. They were on the road at Todd County Tuesday night and were rusty because they hadn't played in about 25 days. Tonight, they're hosting Eagle Butte and still looked a bit rusty. And so they've lost back to back. They're now five and four on the season. So, your thoughts on the game, sir? I'm interested in hearing this. Well, you said, you know, I, I talked with Rob a little bit after the Todd County game, and, you know, he had commented they had not played a basketball game since the, what, 25th? 27th. 27th of December, so about 25 days. And, um, you know, I... I think Little One is struggling with that long of a break for games. It's really hard to kind of snap back and, um, you know, get that game level intensity. And I think, you know, I got to see them play on Tuesday and then tonight. And I think that's, you know, kind of they're struggling with um, the who's on the floor at the same time, kind of these matches of, you know, combinations of what works, what doesn't work for them. You know, and I think, you know, we saw stretches in the game where they got it together and did a great job. But it, I, I think one of the things that just comes to mind is, um, you know, just kind of a lack of intensity at, at, during parts of the game. And I think that was a frustrating part for, um, you know, in terms of watching the game is that, um, you know, Little One was there. You know, they were they cut the lead they came back a couple of times they took the lead they went out a few by a few points you know they definitely had the talent and the ability to kind of win this game but um you know they, they they weren't able to put it together for a complete game and so i think if you're a little one kind of going away from this game you have to look at okay how do we from tip off to the final buzzer maintain a level of intensity pressure and kind of tenacious play that um, forces the opponent to you know be be disrupted in their offense you know eagle butte is a team who likes to pass and run pass and run a lot of transition offense a lot of outside shots and so little one definitely had the height advantage tonight and they could have exploited that a little more well, they out, out rebounded. Benefit. They out rebounded Eagle Butte, thirty-seven to seventeen. Yeah, I mean, but the thing is, is you know, they Eagle Butte did a good job of collapsing and playing the passing lanes. So, 
you know, Little One wasn't able to use their post players very effectively um, all night. There were some times, though, when they were able to use those guys and they were just, they could go to the basket and almost score at will. Um, you know, I think Dubray was off tonight. You know, on Tuesday, he could not miss from the three-point line, and tonight I think he struggled a bit. Um, and, you know, Bear Killer, I hope he kind of finds his um, his consistency. Um, I don't, when I watch him play, I don't know if there's a lot of defensive players who can stop him one-on-one. -on -one. However, with that said, he has to increase his consistency because it doesn't help if you can score at will if you can't score consistently throughout the whole game. Um, Todd County's game, he came back with 14 points in the second half and just kind of, you know, went to the basket whenever he wanted. This game, we saw some of those moments of kind of um, offensive brilliance, but um, they're, they're few and far between. And, you know, as you get ready for a playoff run towards the end of the season, you have to, you know, be able to be consistent a little more and a little more regularly, you know. I liked Trey Yellowboy down low. I think he is he is really blossoming into a really good player. Um, offensively, defensively, on the rebounds, I think he's somebody who you can rely on to. Um, One thing really about him is consistency. Yeah. From that very first game to now, you know he's going to give you 100%. Yep, and I really like that you can depend on that as a coach that you know, even just as a sophomore, he didn't have a lot of varsity experience last year. He has really stepped forward in a big way, I think, you know, for the games that I've been able to watch him play. Well, he finished tonight with 24 points wow. and 13 rebounds. Double-double, huh? 24 and 13. Uh, Andreas Dubray finished with 11 points, one steal, four assists, and three rebounds. Dylan Cooney, he had eight points. Um, three rebounds. Um, Ralph Bearkiller had seven points, two steals, two assists, seven rebounds. Lance Christensen had eight points, three steals, three assists, and a rebound. Um, Carlos Plenty Arrows finished with six points, and he had um, four rebounds. Lucas Apple off the bench had five rebounds and a steal. Caleb Brave Eagle finished with a rebound. Um, Preston Hall.